I'm in the live stream chat, and I said that I was streaming. Hello guys, we'll get started soon, don't worry. on the earth. Hello guys. Just let me know how the uh, music is compared to my voice and we can get started. The audio is fine. Good, 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 good. I'm decapitated. But yeah, we are just continuing the packing of these DA game dog tags and iris keychains from uh, yesterday's stream that was on the DA games channel. So if some of you is uh, if some of you are watching from there, you guys are. Hello! So, uh, yeah. 
We packed uh, 40 of the 81 orders yesterday, so we're going to pack the rest of them, hopefully, in the next three hours. So let's get started. And the first order we're packing is an Irish chain. I had to do some extra counting to make sure that I wrote down the right numbers of what's next. So I think this one is 29 out of 49. So let's let's fold up a box. This is at least something that some of you did not miss yesterday, or did miss yesterday, is me struggling with figuring out these boxes at first, but now, now I'm a gosh darn pro. Wow, that was perfect on the first try. Also, Scooby is watching you, so behave. Hey, K Frame, if I don't, if you didn't remember, I was on yesterday's stream. I remember you, Joe's TV. I I remember your name. Oh wait, why am I putting the crinkle paper in? I'm supposed to be writing on these on these cute little cards. So, uh, okay. This one, I think, is the 29th one, but let me just do some counting. Just to make sure, because, you know, it's been a day. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 28. Yep, this one's 29. I counted it right. So we got... Sometimes this Posca pen gunks up. 29. Out of 49 for the Iris things. Opposite day, but it's an unboxing video stream. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I'm gonna draw... I think I'm going to draw... A little... You know what? I'm gonna draw a little Flumpty. We were listening to Flumpty Jam. I pick up a girl, I guess. But I am no good. I doubt anyone would. Wait, is that a fairy? Oh, so your name's Kiyu. It's really nice to meet you. Won't be my first. Honey Puppin Sorry guys, that this is like one of my first songs of Wills that I ever listened to, and it's still a it is still one of my favorites. There we go, we got a little flumpy there. Honey, 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 honey. Nothing is ever right for you. Everything you try, you just feel Wanna ask you more questions? If you need more food for your digestion, oh yeah. You send me pictures of your boobs, but I'm still a total noob. I'm gonna walk back, or you'll just kick my ass. I'm a womanizer, your junk's a life sizer. Guess you'll be stripping it all. Honey popping, cherry dropping, can't get enough of my brain new face. Every like time I really find a you, pretty on me, I'm great. By the way, selling in our day. This song is so. I. This song has such a good beat and everything. It's just got the lyric. It's one of those rapid fire lyric kind of things. And sometimes, sometimes I just can't. Ho! Oh! Okay, so that was number 29. 
So the next one will be 30. And that was order 41. Ew. And if you guys have any questions, just ask. I'm, I'm all here for banter, so it's not just me doing lonely karaoke. Okay, so that was 41. The next one is a DA Games tag. I'm, 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 here. I'm here, Silky. What did you say? I'm saying I'm still here. Oh, I'm sorry. You were quiet for a while. I thought you left because I wasn't. Well, I don't I, have. I don't have Discord up. That's all. Oh, that's. I just. I mean, after my. Uh, an awkward entrance. I was just waiting for you to say something. Oh, sorry. I I kind of went straight into work mode. I apologize. No, no, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, guys, Lizzie's here. Say hi, Lizzie. Uh, hello. I am here. Yeah, we're just packing stuff. Order forty-two for a D8 games tag, and it would be order twenty-one. 21. And you know what? Since it's 21, I'm gonna draw a cheeky little... Cheeky little cocktail. With a little... Some little sparkles. And a little umbrella. I really hope this wasn't a child who ordered this one. <laughs> Who knows? Lizzie's the Are one who's Ozumatsu Chan, Ozumatsu san trash, right? Yep, you you're thinking of the right Lizzie. Wait, who said that? Magical dude. Yep, that's me. I'm trash. I just realized the live stream didn't pop in, and sometimes I, my eyes don't go straight towards the box, they go towards the Pokemon content. Yeah. Oh, it's a fancy juice cup. You're right, Inky, you're right. You want to know how Chris is a dum-dum, Lizzie? Uh, sure. He forgot to schedule a tweet saying that I'm packing orders today. How dare he? And he's sleeping, and he's the only one who can use the DA Games Twitter. Because he's a poo-poo head with poo-poo hands. How dare he be irresponsible? Yeah. Hey, uh, can you turn up your mic or get closer to it? Because I have you up pretty high, and I, it's hard to hear you. Oh, sorry, I just turned it down a little bit cause I, after I came in and... Basically, yeah, I think it, ears, I it, just... it was just like a feedback thing, but you don't have it right now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I figured out like last night, apparently, a couple people were having issues with my mic stuttering, and I, I think I have it fixed, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that was 21. And that was order 42. And another one for the stack. I'm getting in a rhythm, man. I'm I'm an expert. What's the next one? Another DA Games tag. Pog. Oh uh, yes. More championship boxing. I am a championship boxer. Good. He, he needs sleep. His voice without sleep will break into gravel. I mean, to be fair, yesterday, me... Will, Chris, Sean, and uh, a special guest uh, recorded, Chi Chi, they said it on Twitter, it's not a surprise, uh, recorded a three hour long session for DA Knockout for Solitaire, so Chris may actually be passed out. Hello, Maxi AZ. That was a DA Games tag. And that was 22. 
And we're gonna draw a little, little popper. Here. Oh, oh it's Willinky. Huh? Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, guys. Hello. Let me just turn Inky up. There we go. Is that quiet? Oh, I had you turned down last night when I was watching a video. <laughs> but yeah, no, now you're now you're perfectly audible, guys. It's it's Inky and the Will Games. <laughs> I know. Have you recovered? Physically, yes. Mentally, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was the knockout that bad? Really that intense? It yes. was intense. It, really it was intense. But I mean, like, you try playing solitaire for three hours straight and not winning. Oh, that, God. That... I, mean, I'm, I mean, to be fair, I've played games for way longer than that without winning, so... Uh, yeah, but when it's when it's the monotony of solitaire, it breaks some people, and it definitely broke Chris. I don't know. I feel like losing at certain rhythm games can be pretty monotonous. Oh, I mean, losing at rhythm games broke Chris too in a completely different way when we tried Friday Night Funkin', so. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys haven't missed much. We pat. This is the third. This is the 43rd order. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, I'm really starting to get good with box. with these fucking foldy boxes. Aww. I say as I'm struggling to put this thing in. Oh no! <laughs> Karma! <laughs> Boxing skills. Yeah. I went <laughs> from soda Popinski into Glass them? Joe. Oh no! What is your favorite pizza? Because I'm having a pizza and breadsticks. Oh, can I have the breadsticks? Don't you like like a jalapeno pizza, Will? I I like jalapeno pizzas. Uh, jalapeno pepperoni tandoori chicken. Is usually the one I go for. That sounds really good. It's so that beefy. Fancy. What's your guys' favorite? Uh, cheese. can't go wrong. <laughs> you just like playing cheese, Inky? I did that. Cheese with the the uh the, the, the shake of the cheese. I don't know what that's called. I am. What's it called again? The the extra cheese stuff that they give you some. Mozzarella. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I like that. You, I mean, for me, for me, you can't go wrong with a good old pepperoni. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, it's a safe bet. Like, you're, I don't know many people who dislike pepperoni. Me? Um, on their pizza. <laughs> well, there, I mean, there was okay, a, one. <laughs> there was a brief moment for a few years that I didn't like it, but then I went... And then I tried it again, and I ended up really loving it. So, you know what? Pepperoni, good. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, I'm a classic pepperoni person. Uh, pepperoni with extra cheese. Uh, if I'm feeling fancy, I love uh, buffalo chicken or barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, shit. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> oh, buffalo chicken pizza is the bomb diggity, man. With some jalapenos went, on it? Mm. I, went, I went completely wow. off of pizza today. Usually that's my go-to, but today I got Donner meat and, and what you would call them fries. So I... We got it from a chippy, a fish and chips place. Um, ah. They do, they do like really nice donut meat with mint sauce. Chippy. Ooh, that's a, that does sound good. It's so dirty, but I wanted dirty today. This is the 30th iris tag. Wow. 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 I was like, do I hear Caleb? And I was right, because your uh, Legend of Zelda song is playing right now. Ah, yes. He's got a very indistinguishable voice. Or he's a, he, he's a very uh, identifiable voice. That's the word. I miss, I miss a lot of the folks who I've like talked to over here in Discord. I just can't wait to get on a plane. Caleb's a good boy. He is a ball of energy. Every now and then, like, he'll, you know, I'll, I'll post something Irish related and he'll like the tweet. 
Yeah. Where you? How are you? <laughs> Hello, you. Hello, you. I'm Gero Larry. I'm Dog Games. I'm Dan Games. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm Guru Daddy. I'm Guru Daddy. <laughs> Can I play Five Nights at Freddy's without <laughs> without oh divorcing Four my wife? The answer is no. Game that Freddy can't wank. <laughs> Top 10 <laughs> Minecraft YouTubers, that's where. Number 9, uh, Will DA Games. Synonymous <laughs> <laughs> so boy is swearing. Oh, coming into yeah, here. The ref about fun. Hey, Jer. Jer. Hello. Good boy. Good boy, Hi, Jer. How you doing, my bear? Bear. Oh no, some some people's favorite song is starting to play. Good old brothers in arms. Ooh. The the accursed six month long video production video. We're trying whistle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that was order forty three. There we go. There you go. You just had to get the 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 uh, the rest off the off of the the good old whistle. Hello. <laughs> hey yo, how you doing? How's the packing? Packing's going good. We're in order forty four now. Doing good. Just released transmission six today, and I'm chilling uh -huh. before I go pick up Sophie. How's the? How did transmission six go over? Everybody's. Did they? Did they have uh, music cream into their ears? Not music, but definitely cream. Oh. Uh, they, 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 yeah, the server went crazy. Um, they, actually, I, I had a look, and this is very, very rare for a DA Games video, uh, but there are zero dislikes and 1,100 oh, likes. That's a great ratio. That'll change. I just, but still. Yeah, like, but still, the, ini nice the initial it, yeah. ratio is nice. It's nice seeing it, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I learned something oh. random today. What is it? Apparently, one part of the, the song MILF from Friday Night Funkin'. Uh -huh. Um. Apparently, um. Apparently, it takes part of, um. Apparently, it's inspired by the chorus of um, "Never Gonna Give You Up." Oh, that's awesome! Like a like a sped up version of it. Ah. What? I missed something. Uh, a song a song from Friday Night Funkin' has a sample from "Never Gonna Give You Up." You know, the Rick Rolling song. Oh. People think that song is a meme. I think it's a masterpiece. <laughs> It's a good it's song. Like, if you actually listen to it Never is. Gonna Give You Up, that thing is unironically a bop. And Rick Astley is just a no. good singer. No, it is a good song. Oh, yeah. Rick I Astley's know, a great is. singer, too. <laughs> Have you ever heard his cover of Titanium? It's really good. No, but I need to now. It's on his YouTube channel. He puts up covers. Yeah, I'll have to check that out sometime. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Super Smurgle. I like your name. Smurgle. Smurgle. Oh, amazing. Smurgle is a great name. Yeah. That looks okay. like you have more boxes than you even need. No, let me let me be let me be clear. Some of these orders need two boxes, so I will have just a little bit left over because each of these, because I used a whole pallet yesterday of these, which was fifty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, forty-four. Yeah, games versus Ego Raptor. Aaron was away. Sure, he's he's a he's a fucking. I love him. Were you about to say Chad? Yeah, but I've used that on so many. Things. <laughs> Do you want to give him a kiss? I want. I want to give him a kiss. 
Oh, we'll give him a little kiss oh. on the cheek. Oh, Just kiss on the cheek. <laughs> oh, that's so gay. Yes. I have Which is good. It's not gay. It's appreciation. <laughs> it can be. Are both. you saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Iris tag. I was thinking of Friday Night Funkin. I actually came across like this interesting video talking about the history of one of the characters featured in it, uh, Pico. Isn't that a- yeah, he's a Newgrounds mm -hmm. character. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I learned a lot about the game he came from. The amount of people who wow. didn't know what Pico- who Pico was before the Friday Night Funkin is- says a lot about the communities and mainstream. I mean- I didn't. I mean, to be fair, I'm still sort of a noob to Newgrounds stuff, but I love learning about it because Newgrounds is a fascinating site. Yeah, where do you? Why do you think Will came from it? Yeah, I came from. Fair it. enough. It's the story I tell everybody. What inspired you to be a YouTuber? I was on Newgrounds, then everybody abandoned it, so I followed. <laughs> Seems like Newgrounds is starting to get a following because of Friday Night Funkin', though. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, well. it's a re it's a resurgence. Yeah, I mean, Newgrounds has had its fair share of surgences in, uh, throughout, I guess, the six years that I've known the YouTube industry. It's like, Markiplier would play some Newgrounds-esque games, and then some Newgrounds games ended up coming to Steam. Friday Night Funkin' revived a lot of the, the traditional stuff. That and a bunch of Newgrounds um, veterans that were, like, super big ended up getting super big on YouTube with their own series. Um, Newgrounds has had an oh, and also when Tumblr had its purge and everything, like everybody like went to Newgrounds, to Newgrounds, because, Newgrounds because Newgrounds yeah. allows Booba. Yeah. Booba. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. They do allow the booby. Which is yeah. great. I do, <laughs> and I the do, wee wee. I do, and the wee wee. Sometimes both. At the same it's time. Like uh, kind of like Among Us. Uh, Among, Among Us. Among Us. No, Among Us wasn't Newgrounds. That was just purely Steam. Yeah. So, so, so Among yeah. Us. Among Us. Among Us. I'm never gonna get Jack's Club's way of saying that out of my head. It's so good, especially when he spits it. <laughs> Why is he so funny when Among he spits out water? <laughs> Why is spitting out water that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also, it's a case of, like, what he was spitting it out to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his, uh, his fucking... His, uh, video for his profile picture on Twitter for a while was him basically vomiting, spitting up, like, a, like, a milky white holiday cocktail, where he's like, Bleh! Yeah. Cause, cause of course Gross. it was. I mean, he didn't throw it up, he was just going, Bleh. you know, spitting up like a baby. I don't know if that makes it better, but... It doesn't, but... I it, made it. You, it, made it, I, it made it sound like he was actually throwing up a baby, like he ate a baby and then he was, like, throwing it up. God damn it, start playing a whole album again. There we go. Uh, okay, so... Give me one second, I gotta pit a box fell over. Oh no. You know, Inky. Inky. There we go. Sometimes it'll be easier to. Among Us! Not to question oh. the words that come out of my mouth. It's, it's, is she okay? I, I can't hear what she's saying. There we go. Uh, Lizzie, you're yeah. breaking up a bit. There. Okay. Am I? Ah, what? funny bone. Is it, it's not just me, right? What? Am I breaking up? Seems... You sound she, fine. She, it seems... Well... She was, man. <laughs> well, it's fine now. Maybe the power... Ago. Maybe the power of me coming back fixed it. I was gonna say that! <laughs> I gonna say <laughs> when that I turn too. my head, her mic starts shitting on her. But when I turn back, it behaves. Mm. Yeah, but what did you say? Something... Question something your mouth? <laughs> I'm assuming you said try not to question anything that comes from your mouth? Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, okay, it didn't break up that much. It was- the gist was understood. Yeah, okay. That- that makes sense. I question everything when I shouldn't. 
Any questions? I, I've, I I've learned questions to, things, to not question things anymore. Unless it's like... Unless it's something like... Oh, uh, did you know that this animal breathes out of its butthole? And then I'll question it, what? but then I get an answer that I don't want to know. I'm sorry. Why did you ask that question? Be be because I look up weird animal facts and there are animals that breathe out their butts. Like turtles. Never I think they knew about the turtles, but what other- played Among Us Ted. Best and hilarious video I've ever watched. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did I- did I drop my index card with my inventory numbers? No, I just moved it aside. There we go. Okay, so it's 33 on the tag. No, on the keychain. And 23 for the DA games. I really hope. I, every time I write something down, I have that little bit of hesitance because it's like, I didn't get a number wrong, right? I'm writing things down where I don't need to hear some person be a little piss baby if two people got the number 23. <laughs> okay. No, the turtles. Yes, the turtles, Elijah. Okay, so... Am I missing a reference? No, no, because they just said no, the turtles, because I said that turtles breathe out of their butts. Oh. Uh, cool. I, I, I decided I don't want to ask any more questions. <laughs> I feel like that would be better for my sanity. Just don't ask questions, and see, you'll be fine. I don't want to know that, actually. <laughs> Why do you know these things? Because I go down rabbit holes, man. I heard turtles breeze out of their butts. What happened? Well, you see, Joe's TV, I was talking about my endless abyss of knowledge. Of things that people, don't, people probably don't want to even know about. Problem. I mean, someone must have wanted to know if the fact exists. That means people researched it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. How does that make you feel? I don't know anymore. Yes, you don't know anymore, but you do know now the turtles freak out of their butts. There are things that I wish I didn't know, and those are some of the things I wish I didn't know. Well then. Uh, Alright. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm drawing is hard. Yeah. Are you drawing right now, Inky? Yes, I am. What are you drawing? I don't know. <laughs> it's a head, so I just inserted myself in it. I was like, I'll just draw me. I don't draw me much. I'm I'll just draw drawing... Me. All I'm doing is drawing my newly created Ozo OC with somebody else's Ozo OC. Ozo? It's Ozu short. Matsu. It's a short... Yeah, shorted. Oh. Yeah, For yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not done, though. Uh, what number are we up to now? 46, Magical Dude. This person Magical ordered a DA Games tag and an Irish tag. A bundle deal. Where? Wow. wow, how privileged. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I don't know why it, what I expected to hear. I didn't, I just know that I didn't expect that. I'm sorry. I'm... Yeah, order number 46. You're so privileged. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, they get two. I mean, yeah, yeah, one. yeah. They. Yeah, I mean, well, if you had you the have... ability to get both, you know, good for you. You, 
You have the disposable income needed to buy good things. Yes. I want. Yes. I want. <laughs> I want. Okay, I have a question for uh, in the chat. Okay. You know his name is just Will, right? Why? Why? What's up with the whole Will Ryan? Is it, is it just for jokes? I I, I just I, see yeah, it a I lot. think I think I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those things where it's like <gasps> he's a fa he's a famous. I must call him by his full name. It's like, or because it's like he's Will Ryan of DA Games. Wow, 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 wow. Just call him Will. <laughs> yeah, just call him Will. Call him uh, Will Thunderman. Because after know the that some frogs will make homes out of elephant dung. No. Why did you What's Why that? did you say that? Now my day is ruined. I think this is more cursed than the freaking butt thing. Shins? Only we have ch- <laughs> He called us an animal. I like that dude. In in Inky, and you said the breathing out of your butt thing was cursed. I think that was worse. I don't know what an elephant dung is. That's poo. Ew. Yeah, it's poo. Ew. No, Joe's TV, this is Order 46. This is Order 45. I mark these. I know what number I'm on. I think they were saying that the number 46 is, uh... Like... Wait, did someone delete that? I am not looking up animals with chins. But you probably want to. <laughs> I mean, I do want to, but I'm not doing it right now, or else nothing will get done. Cause that's where your rabbit hole will be. Cause, yeah, because then I will not stop. It's like Pringles. You can't stop after just one. Yeah, it's just like you buy a whole bag of goldfish, or a box of goldfish, and next thing you know, they're just suddenly gone. Exactly. A whole box. A whole box. And I may have a I may have a goldfish addiction and a potato bread addiction. Oh, I love goldfish. One of those That's why I can't play. buy them. Same. I I eat them so much that I just get sick of them, and then next thing you know, I'm just like, I need more. Speaking of, I think I might have some goldfish later because I still have a box and uh, it's almost gone, and I, I I'm gonna try to limit myself. That's not gonna happen. Did you know the greater short horn lizard squirts blood out of his eyes? Ew. I didn't okay. need to know that. I think you should stop looking down that rabbit hole. It doesn't seem like a very safe one. Australia went to the war with animals twice? With an animal? Wait, a singular animal? Why in the world is this knowledge? Uh, a, a rabbit hole. Definitely. I have a question. Who keeps retracting their messages? Are they doing that? Yeah, they- they can delete their own messages, I'm not doing it. So they're doing it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they said it. I deleted- they- they said earlier I deleted because it was a stupid joke. I don't understand why so, they're deleting their stuff. Yeah. No, no one did magical, but that's why I put a poorly drawn Patrick on this 24th one, and on the 25th one I'm gonna put Spongebob saying 25. <laughs> I like putting little those doodles two, on it. Those two people will have a special connection that they never knew they had. Exactly. Because that's the thing, I basically- Yeah. A lot of these have like little shitty doodles that I've done because, well, my paint pen- This is a very small space, so I can't really do any kind of- nice looking drawings of characters with a little paint pen especially since the top the the finish on these uh 
cards are like glossy so you know it can get messy if I try to clean things but I think that adds to the charm of it there we go if you guys were to spend a night wait spend the night in a haunted location where would you go oh Nowhere. yeah <laughs> you don't want to be around spooky I'm too scared. I can't even go downstairs when my mom's watching like ghost story and or ghost adventure stuff. Yeah. Uh, I would go on the Queen Mary, which is this boat hotel here in LA that apparently is haunted. But I also don't believe in ghosts, so. Was order 47. 47? Hit me, hit me! I lose! But it's but not Tuesday, Tuesday Patches. The tartar sauce! What? Don't send anyone to a doll island. Oh. A haunted doll. No, that, I will. What is haunted I, I will, doll I island? No. <laughs> it's terrifying. I don't like dolls when they're normal. When they're haunted sounds even worse. I don't like... Yeah, same. I don't like dolls normally. I used to. I just don't like the and uncanniness of them. I stopped liking them ever since I uh, started playing Final Fantasy XIV because there's two, two dolls named Calica and Brina and they merge together and the name is Calica Brina. And uh, you fight that, and it's terrifying. Ugh. And it, I, it started yeah. doing like tam tam temper tantrums and everything, and uh, it turns oh, you into a doll. No, 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 no. It's it's a little. It's not as scary as you think, but if you're fighting a gigantic baby doll that's trying to murder you, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I can imagine. I mean, I, I just never liked baby dolls. I don't like how they have the whole thing where if you lie them back, they, their eyes started to close. It's like, no. No, I don't like you. Yeah, I don't like you either. It's kind of like... Kind of like a Furby situation everyone apparently has. Yeah, I don't like Furbies. I love Furbies. Hey guys, I have Pepper. Hooray! Oh, she she says hi. Take a picture. Picture of the Pepper. What a setup. I went to work. Check on Zelda. How is Zelda doing? Oh, she's wonderful. <laughs> Angel! Oh. Angel, look up! Oh, uh, missed anything? No, just packing orders. Uh, weird animal facts that nobody needs to know. <laughs> also, I have my pupper. Dolls. Yeah, so dogs and... Dogs and that. You like slapping from goosebumps? I mm -hmm. cannot do anything with goosebumps. They terrify me. <laughs> what? An island with a lot of dolls hanging on the trees? I'm sorry, wait. Yeah, that's Haunted Doll Island. Wait, is that like a real thing? Yes. Oh. God, now I want to see what that looks like, but I don't want that in my search history. <laughs> that's, that's creepy. Alright. 
Oh, let me just pop this. Post this in the, on the chat. Na, 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 na. Who's in the call? Lizzie, Will, and Inky. <gasps> Hello. Yes. Prepare yourself to see a sweetheart. Wow. Real and creepy. Yeah, I think I'll pass on anything that's real and creepy for a while. Okay. Inky, I posted it in the goodness. I already said Zelda's good, Joe. I already said it. Oh. Aww. The dog is precious. Is. Your dog well, they're all literally first. giving puppy dog eyes like, hello. I know. And if we combine all the names, it becomes Cosmic Wizzy Ink. <laughs> Cosmic Wizzy Ink. I hate it. That sounds, like, that sounds like a psychedelic passing of urine. Yeah, oh. it's like get it. It's like sounds Unleash like get your cosmic whizzy ink. So <laughs> oh, no. oh, lord, is this that the missing yellow this? submarine character? Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's a cosmic whizzy ink. Thank you. So, I don't. I don't. Thank you, whizzy. What? I need to know what is, what is this person's Twitter. I need I need to like message them. And be like, Lizzie Ink. Kiss me, Ink. It sounds like it's saying Lizzie Ink, and I'm confused. No, it's Wizzy Ink. I'm not a way to like. Oh, so to people watching. People? I I don't know if uh, if any of you saw it on Twitter, and if you want to know, just you know, follow my Twitter at Cosmic Keyframe. Um, I will be doing a little charity thing on Saturday. Um, I will be streaming all of Pokemon Shield, so I will start at fairly early in Pacific Standard Time, and I will also be doing uh, some Pokemon-based giveaways, and the and all the money made during the stream will go to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Uh, I did- I wanted to do this in response to that fucking aggravating as hell video that is, uh, circulating. That was- That iris tag was 34, right? Yeah, I think- I think it was 34. Yeah. Just like, what aggravating? Um, there's a video circulating of these- of, uh, a Walmart, and it's- the Walmart just opened, and it was this- and it was a bunch of these fucking scalpers, uh, steal- uh, uh, basically looting all the Pokemon cards so they can go and sell them online and upsell them and stuff, which is why there's a bunch of Pokemon card shortages and people trying to scalp them or the or you know the fact that you can't find them at any retailer that a child would go to you know like a like a target or a walmart or anything and it pisses me off because it's like you people are ruining fun so i wanted to do something that brings a little positivity in the world to offset that negativity so i'm doing a charity thing and i um i actually purchased some pokemon card things so the uh, people who donate had the chance to get it and one of them is a Shining Fates thing and if any Pokemon card people know it's very hard to find Shining Fates stuff right now so um oh absolutely yeah so that's gonna happen on Saturday and I'm excited be excited folks it's yeah. Pokemon Pokemon it's Pokemon for a good cause uh yeah that's order the great Galarian Princess Rapidash? I'm sorry, am I missing something? 
Oh, yeah. I think they're referencing the fact that Galarian Rapidash kind of looks like Celestia. Oh! Yes, but sir. yeah, if you can't donate, share the stream. That's that's all I can ask of you. But yeah, I think that was... I think that was the 34 virus tag. People watching. I said 34, right? Prop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said 34. I, I can't really I can't really reopen the box and check. People watching the live stream, rewind it. Enhance all that. I think I said 34. Okay, I did say 30 okay, thank you, Lizzie. You're welcome. Okay. 39. Because I remember you mentioning like earlier, you're like, no, this is 34, the next one's 35. Yeah. Because I'm smart. I drew a Galarian Rapidash and I put it on Twitter. Galarian Rapidash is a very pretty looking Pokemon. <laughs> Tag. I, I I like it because it looks like my little bunny character, so it's easy for me to draw. <laughs> yeah, because I was so used to drawing uh, MLP characters at the time when I drew it. I like po I like Galarian Ponyta because she has like cotton candy hair. It's very cute. It's a really nice mix of colors. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I forgot what type they changed her to. Did she change that? Change her into like a psychic type? Uh, Charlie, we got Lizzie, Inky, and Will. Hello. Hi, son. Hi. Okay. Uh, this was another iris tag. Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five nice. feels right. I didn't make a five number. Speaking of Pokemon, what team are you guys and what is your favorite Pokemon type? I like fire, water, and dark Pokemon, and I'm Team Valor. Team Instinct, baby! And my favorite type is Psychic. Team Mystic. I haven't played in a while, but I'm Team Mystic, and my favorite types are Psychic, yeah. Ghost, um, Dark, and, ele and Electric. I... I think I was Team Instinct. Uh, yeah, you were an Instinct one, like me. Yeah. And, uh, my favorite types, Psychic, uh, Psychic and Electric. I always took you for a Fire-type fire. liker, though. Huh. Charizard, I always, uh, started off with Pokemon Red quite a lot, and most of my starters have always been, um, Fire-types. Ah, uh, maybe that's bunny. why. Yeah. Yeah, I went with Scorba. You were the one... Will, who noticed that my, uh, my score bunny was a girl. I didn't even notice. Uh, Alright, we're about to hit order 50. We're packing order 50. It's not something I would it's normally, just... like, pick up either, but it just... Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, we're on our number 15! Order 50, which is another Iris tag! Give it up for Iris 15! Give it up for order 50! And besides grass, other favorite type is dragon flying in water. Noise. Mine is probably fire and fighting. Split some dark. And electric. Key, have you adopted your existence as a fighting gym leader? Yeah, I mean, I do look like a fighting gym leader, especially when I go to the gym. Because I, I wear a Pokemon cap when I go. And then I also have my little gloves and uh, my weightlifting gloves and stuff. So, I accept that. I feel like I would be like a... Uh, some kind of psychic fighting, though. Because you, you could call it the Braids of Brawn Gym. That's actually a really cool idea. Fuck. <gasps> no! Okay. Oh, no, you came two. up with a good idea! I know! Disgusting! <laughs> what was the idea? Uh, to make a, gy a Pokemon gym where the fighter, where the gym leader has both psychic and fighting type, and it's called the Brains and Brawn Gym. 
Pokemon, Game Freak, hire me. That actually sounds like, a, sounds like a good idea, but you can't have good ideas on the internet. Exactly, uh, Baba yeah. Booey, meme, fart sound, uh, bwom. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, Override and Conquer was playing. Okay. Uh, it's a, okay, uh, right. I think it's time to pull a Mikey and self destruct. This <laughs> is explode. Explode. That, that, that finale for Friendlock was amazing. Yeah, it was. Okay, so Order 36. Crinkly, crinkly. Like Let me just say, I had so much of this crinkly paper on my floor by the end of the stream yesterday. I don't know how, it just did. <laughs> it's like glitter. I keep finding pieces. It's everywhere. Exactly. But it makes it so much nicer than just opening up a box with another box in it. God, I, I went... I went over to look over at the Override and Conquer video. It's so weird seeing Will with with black and purple hair. Nowadays, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which is funny, because I've known you most of our friendship for having, like, black and some other color hair, and I'm like, no, I'm more used to blonde Will now. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's my own natural. I did it mostly because my, you know, I go to my mom. And she was, she always looked at me funny when she said, Missed you, missed you a lot. Huh, Will, you look, you look very ill. Are you okay? Are you sleeping? <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's perfectly fine. She's like, I think it's the hair. <laughs> That's what my mom and grandma said. Make me look so dead, sad. Will. Oh, make me look dead. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, great. And I always just like, shut up, mom. It's, a, it's not a phase. And it, and it was. Um, <laughs> it's just a phase, mom. Don't worry. Yeah. And now I just tell everybody, if you can't handle me at my natural, and you can't handle me at my fake, then you don't deserve my fake. That's the one. <laughs> uh, favorite spin of Pokemon in Pokemon Puzzle is, po is Pokemon yeah, Puzzle League on the Game Boy, just for the JoJo. I kind of like the Ranger games and the Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, Pokemon Ranger's fun. Thank you. The Johto region. The Johto region. Okay, I only know quite a few of the Dojo region Pokemons. I know every first gen, but ask me about remembering any of the rest, I, I have no idea. I tried Pokemon Hey You, it's Pikachu on the N64, it's not my thing. I hope that wasn't your total experience with Pokemon, because Hey You, Pikachu is a very outlying game. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, well, I mean, when the mic would work, it would be a fun game. Why does everyone have so much issue with the microphone? I had no issues. I don't know. Did you have like an? Did you play it on the N64 or PlayStation? N64. Why? Well, I don't know. I remember somewhat there. It was on another console. I feel like like there was some. I think like I don't know. I remember some people saying yes and some people saying no. I didn't have Hey You Pikachu. It was the Nintendo 64. I don't think there was another version of it. And yeah, I remember no. someone talking about it on a different console. I think what you're thinking about was um. There was a rumor years ago that if you sent PlayStation, the Pikachu would get mad. Yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, wow. Ma Mandela I memory, I swear. Because that picked a, a demo person, they gave me an idea, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Actually, I'm doing it. <laughs> Whoa, do it! You can't do it, stop nerd. me. I, I will. Yeah, Bet. Blacka. B Blacka. Blacka. Black. <laughs> What was your favorite retro game? Uh, Punch Out. 
That Dig one's Dug. an easy one for me. Dig Dug and uh, the Kirby in the Crystal Shards. I don't think that's retro, but I, I was like, you know, it's old by now. I mean, by now it's retro to the current Zoomers. Fair enough. Oh, jeez. Uh, Kirby, Dig Kirby Dug and the Crystal open. Shards was easily one of my favorite Kirby games. I've never finished that game, and I'm so upset. Kirby's Dream Collection was fun. I got stuck at a part, and then, uh... I, I uh see, the happened. issue is, in order to get all the crystal shards, you kind of have to use all the different, uh, copy abilities, including ones you have to combine. Yeah, I, don't, I think I was stuck in, like, that desert place. I forgot what it was called. Wait. There's a desert place pretty early on in the game. Yeah, that's why I said I never finished it. <laughs> uh, Inky, the <laughs> desert I... is like the second world in the game. Why do you think I said I never finished it? <laughs> She's well aware. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware. I, I guess I retro I would be I something I never that... said I got far. I mean, what the- no, yeah. I get... Yeah. I get that Children! Erica <laughs> and the- <laughs> The way Lizzie said Inky sounds like when Chris says Lizzie. Like, Lizzie! <laughs> How yeah, the tables have turned. It's my turn to get it's, a, it's your turn to get salty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. What the <laughs> man? <laughs> okay. And I, because of an oversight, already packed order fifty-two. So we're going to get to order fifty-three after this. What is the song that's played? I didn't know you made a Detroit Become Human song. Oh, oh wait, it was yeah. a shit post. Yeah, yeah, small shit post, a little remix. <laughs> I'm back. Mom told me I forgot something. And I had to get it. Wake up, oh. Lieutenant. Wake up! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Slams desk intensified. It's me, Connor. <laughs> I need that pickup person again. Where are they? I need, I need their assistance. Okay, so now we're on order fifty-three, which is another DA Games tag, which I need to get a new baggie of. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You guys are clearing me of house and home. Garfield, you're eating me out of house and home. I eat, huh? John. That's what I do. Eat, John. It's what I do. It's what I do. All right, more boxes, more boxes. My life is boxes. Why is it spicy? There's a song from Mega Man. But I never knew it was from Mega Man. At least I think, and I don't remember what it was anymore now. Okay. That I don't remember. I hear it in like a lot of like remixes. Have you guys read the old Pokemon comics? 
as well as the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon ones. I used to I, like the I read Pokemon the manga Mystery where Dungeon people one. where that one uh like Ekans got cut up into into pieces. Oh yeah, Excuse Pokemon me? kind of uh Yeah, no, that's real. Yeah, they made a manga where Pokemon fucking die. I, I uh, need to see this now. The original manga is kind of like not for kids. <laughs> It's violent. It's pretty violent, yeah. And so, but like, yeah. the Americans make it seem so kitty. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, there's the pick a dude. Lady person. Who are you? I need your Twitter. I need your Twitter. I need How many boxes have system. been packed, Zelda Gamer? Uh, this is the 53rd one. I mean, if we're going by boxes, I don't know. Uh, when we finished the stream last time, it was 48 boxes. Because some of these, you know, are combo orders, but they're still individual boxes. So... Uh, so yeah, upwards of pat of above fifty. I just realized that I have been wearing one of my socks inside out for the past few hours. <laughs> oh, good job! Proud of you. Nice job. Mike, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why the one's so funny to me is just the suck. Suck. Afternoon, Chris. Hello, Chris. Oh, it's Chris up? Yeah, he's typing oh. in the chat. Chris, oh. did, did you remember a certain <laughs> thing? Okay, let's see the next order. 54. It's a. It's an Irish! Cosmic Chris is here. Yeah, yeah, I'm Sherry. I'm Sherry. You're good. You're, 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 you get a schedule. Your pay's getting docked. Your emotional pay. I need- I need your- your Twitter, if you have one, uh, person, ma'am, sir. It's very important. It's very important. <laughs> I need to give Is credit it? where credit is due. Yes! Oh yeah, it's Twitter! I'm drawing it right now. I think their Twitter is Picademos. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm you're drawing for- oh, oh. And I'm- they- they gave me an idea and I'm drawing it. Oh! Everyone else is gonna hate it, but I love it. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you have coffee. Oh, Pika does homework. not use Twitter. Ah. Uh, I need- I need- I need something. Oh, they have, they have a deviant art. Perfect. Perfect. I have that too. I will admit the space I made for this drawing that I need their something for. It's adorable. <laughs> it's heckin' adorable. Oh. I will. I will. Check you out. And that was 54. We're on 55. And I feel alive, I think. Oh, hey, Key, I found these TikToks that definitely rage your energy. Wow. That, that definitely, like, radiate your energy. Oh, hell yeah, baby. I love yeah, TikToks there are that these, are like, my TikToks. energy. Yeah, I found this guy 
who makes like these like recipes from like years ago and it's like the whole time you oh, have like a where breakdown. they make like that post world world war two era food where everything's in fucking jello yeah oh no i love this concept I love- I love his stuff, it's so hilarious. I was losing it earlier over how oh, funny Oh, there's this one TikToker who does, uh, cooking things. They also have a YouTube channel, but one of the t types of TikToks they do is that they find, uh, videos of, uh... Okay, this is 29. Of, um... Like, vid TikToks of people cooking, but they don't have the actual cookware. Like, there's one where this woman is- is, uh making fried chicken in like, you know, one of those uh, tin pans that you use to like put a lasagna in that you're going to a potluck with. So it's like yeah. basically tin foil. And then he just looks at the camera and then he's just with to his back to the camera, just hold it, taking out a bunch of pots and pans being like, here, do you need this? Do you need this? It's so, God, I love him. And, but all the comments are about his juicy, juicy ass, which I don't know how to feel. People I mean, want that. Some people want that cake, and not the ones he bakes. I, I mean, to be fair, sometimes you gotta appreciate the booty. That's true. I don't think I've ever eaten anything this guy makes, though, because it's just it was a different hey, time. You did this. This is good. Put everything in gelatin. When in doubt, put everything in gelatin. All right, it's time for I crinkle, think crinkle, pee on my tinkle. I think, uh -oh. huh. uh, I think one of my favorite comments by him is, this tastes like a war crime. I probably was. <laughs> and... That was... Just to make sure. Yeah, I did put a DA Games dog tag in there, right? I'm not going crazy. Yes, I did. Okay. And that was order 55. Fifty-five! Give it up for day fifty-five! Are you okay, Key? No. Next one is an iris tag. Do I have any iris tags left over here? Or do I have to go and reveal my thighs again and go get another pack? <laughs> Alright. Thigh reveal! <laughs> million subs! Okay. Now, it's just the thing that I'm wearing shorts, and any woman knows that when you wear shorts that are, like, kind of like short shorts, and they're not, like, shorts that go to your knees, anytime you sit, they just yeah. become underwear. <laughs> yeah. And it sucks, because when you're walking and standing, they're fine. It's just when you sit. But, yes, you know what? Yeah. I do it for America. Let me go get another iris thing. You do it so you don't overheat. <laughs> Exactly. And it's California. And it's warm. California. Ah. Bag. This may be the- I think this is the last bag of tags, because the last tag we packed was number 37. <laughs> We're getting close to the last of the- of the- that's of the iris tags. Wow. Yes, Odie, they become ash shorts. That is the perfect way to put them. That's all true. Check out 55, Trust, order 56. Yeah. Had a bit of a scare. What happened? I went downstairs and because I need to change the bed sheets for when Sophie comes over. And I and I lit up I I, I came downstairs, I turned on the kitchen light. And a huge spark just, and a massive bang just shot, and I saw flames and shit. 
What? But basically, basically the kitchen shot circuited. And, oh uh, boy. That's not good. That scared the living fuck out of me. Are you okay though? All you could hear in the house was. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> But you're fine, right? Like, no sparks hit I'm you totally and gave you an alley? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fine, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good, it's just holy shit. That circumstance is good, but I'm okay. It's all good. Salt that wood. seems That's like you need to get something checked. Fire with salt and, uh, silence with the hell salt in that house. Nice try, Key, like but this doggo doesn't check. simp. I don't expect you to simp, I was just venting that women's shorts are annoying. Yeah. I'm just saying, you don't see hear about guy shorts riding up their fucking dicks. I, I don't think that's how shorts work. You know of! Yeah, and I know of. <laughs> I don't know anybody. They have, they have other problems. Yeah. Yeah. They have a living target below their belt. <laughs> Great for kicking. Great. Yeah. Great for- amazing for kicking. Yeah, I mean, I it's like playing a game of pool. <laughs> <laughs> my- my- my foot is just the cue. And I'm about to get a quarter pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my crotch Whoa. just quivered. My crotch just quivered just at the thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, calm down. <laughs> no oh one's gonna God. hurt you. Daddy's here. Oh, Not no. yet. 56. Yeah, don't need to get all crotchy. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Zay! <babe>. Zay! <laughs> Since Chris Not... is here. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, because you know that and you know that you know that Will and Chris sound exactly the same. Exactly. The same. Yeah, exactly. I don't get how people think that you and Chris have the same voice. It is so. What? I can put it's it not... on, but I definitely can't. I definitely but don't. you're not. But your natural voice is not, Chris. Yeah, we have so many you different sound... His is a little deeper than mine. I was about to say, you sound more twinkish. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, because exactly the... what your brain Will is Will is the twink and yeah, Chris yeah. is the bear. Now oh. I know what you think of me. A friend? A twink? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how oh, dare we see you as a friend? Oh no. Yeah, how dare I see you as a friend? Huh. Oh no. Okay, so this is smaller. <laughs> 20 died. Well, you know what I hate drawing the most? Hands? That too! That's why I usually draw circles for mine. Um. Eyes, like the eye, eye, eyelids and stuff. Like mm -hmm. the inside of an eye is amazing. I like drawing like the pupils and stuff. But then you get into like the actual eyelashes and stuff like that. That's why I'm just like, why can't everything just be a cartoon? Face, yeah. Okay. Old enough boxes. Oh, hey, it's Nocturne! I know a little Hello. bit. Hello, Nocturne. I like the name Nocturne. It's me. Reminds me of me. For obvious <laughs> Look at me being a little whiz kid with folding these boxes. been streaming for 80 minutes. Wow. Says, says, uh, says, uh, I'm also at Twitch. YouTube. On platform. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I mis- I mislabeled the platform. What's he gonna do, to me? It's gonna come after you. It's gonna come after me, like, where's your bits? 
and then realized we're not on Twitch. <laughs> and then they're gonna realize I don't even have this in the first place. Just 500 boxes to go to meet your flower quota key. Shut up. Shut up, Pika. Why does Joe keep retracting their own messages? I didn't even get to see what they said. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. Oh, not gonna lie. okay, okay. I think. Oh, because they misspelled convention as conversation. Ah! Uh... My best convention story. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I did I did do a thing at the last BronyCon where I was like, if you send me a printed out picture of Jenna Marbles' dog Kermit, I'll give you a free button. And a bunch of people gave me printed out pictures of Kermit. So now I have a... Now I just have a bunch of Ker uh, Kermit pictures in my house. My favorite was meeting Keith on the last Yay! one. <laughs> uh, also meeting Silverhound. He is so nice. Oh my god. He gave me a full short and a hug. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I got a picture to prove it. Fifty-seven. Ah, that song's gonna be forever in my head. Okay, okay. I was just make I was just making double sure that I this is how I know that I have that I've been putting on the correct numbers because I have enough to make 49 left over on the iris tags. Okay. I was just making sure cuz I was like, "Wait, what happened?" and two loose ones fell into the box. So, that's what happened. When do we get to order 69? We are at 58 right now. 11 more. That, that's not 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, we're not there yet, Chris. Ooh. Also, hello, Chris. Hello. Hello, Chris. Did you sleep well? I'm still sleeping. You slept well, forgetting to schedule a tweet. Shush you. What? <laughs> I can't, I can't. I, get... I, I, tw I tweeted the big one with the boxes. Be like, look at what, look at what she did. Yeah, but you're look supposed to tweet out when the stream is happening. <laughs> Looks like somebody drank his dumb bitch juice. <laughs> oh, sounds like Will's got Zelda. Sounds like. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry? Trying to find, Enjoy. Trying to find some bed sheets. And <laughs> we don't have any anymore. You can find bed sheets that don't have bird poop on it. <laughs> it seems like you need to do some laundry. No, it's not even that. I only have one. 
I used to have I used to have way more than that. Am I am I being robbed of my sleep? That'd be a very strange thing for someone to steal. I've got a whole computer, a whole Wacom PC, I got loads of consoles, TV. <laughs> a lot of electronics to steal. Yeah, but those are harder to get away with if you think about it. Plus, not as important as one. To be honest, if it was actually someone who, like, robbed your sheets, so that makes the most sense. Other than poop. <laughs> Other than the poop. <gasps> It'd be like food. a parasite where someone just sneaks into Will's house late at night just to eat food and then leave. Yeah, All they would find the is a though? bunch of pizza and monster. It, well, hey, food's food. That's true. If you're hungry, you ain't gonna be complaining. <laughs> and this lucky sure. person has the 40th iris tag. Ooh. There's only 49 in existence. Yep. Well, technically, 50. Well, it, it, 49 house, but... in public existence. Yes. Yes. Congrats, Adam. Adam Sandler. Adam. <laughs> That's There's what you draw in the box. In the you just you just draw Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'm not drawing Adam Sandler. Okay. Just draw, draw Adam, Adam Carolla. No. Oh. The only one who got a drawing was Brian, our mod, and that's because <laughs> and that and I gave him Brian Griffin. I know I was there. At least I saw that part. How many how many Iris novel questions have you gotten? None today. So far. Good. So far. Seems like people are smart and actually didn't ask the Well question she's on her started. side of <laughs> she's on of her YouTube. side of the internet. <laughs> so just saying. Still I was rewatching the smart. stream to go to sleep and I was just like taken aback by not only the complete discourse but just how much Russian there was. Russian? Oh yeah. There was a there lot was of a Russian lot of fans. And the thing is like, I checked the analytics. There's only like a 4.5% Russian fan base. Huh. Hmm. I know, but it seems like it's a bigger fan base than the analytics seem to imply. Or they're just very vocal. At the very Jesus. least. Hey Chris, how was your sleep? Eh, it could be better. Well, maybe you shouldn't stay up so late. Where? Stop skipping songs. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm. Take gadgets. I'm no sorry, Jack. I, 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 there were so many models. There. I slept well. But yeah, I'm sorry, Jeff. I just had I had I my my stream and there were a lot of screaming in a lot of the songs. I was like, I, I need a break from the screaming. <laughs> What'd you switch it to? Uh now it's uh, march onward to your nightmare. Fair enough. I'm learned. I honestly thought you would have switched it to something like Another Date. <laughs> I, another Date played earlier, actually. That was the first song of the stream while I was packing. Yeah, literally. Good job. Actually, the first song of the entire stream, when it was the, you know, stream starting stream, was, uh, the le- the, uh, I will- uh, the Sonic song. Instrumental. You mean Can't yeah, Hold yeah. Me Back? Yeah, Can't yeah. Hold Me Back. Sorry, the, I've- I have heard so many hours of Will's songs because of these two streams. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's order. the interesting thing about this is you basically get to archive how long it takes to pack such orders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Remember no. when you wanted to do a hundred? I mean, I, would, I still want to. At least I know how much time I'm going to have to dedicate out of my weekend. Yeah, but that scares me. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> I have done longer streams than I've done packing. 
And those require a lot more exertion. More than pack? Well, yeah, because those you- with- when it comes to, like, let's- let's do the Angela house streams, for example. You know, those require more exertion because it- it requires, like, uh, what would you call Athletic. the- Not just that, no, it's like the- the comprehension skills that you need for a video game, and also playing multiple types of mm. video games, and also entertaining and holding conversations <laughs> and all that. At the end of the day, packing this stuff becomes a fairly monotonous task. Because I- I mean, if you've seen my hands on stream, I can basically fold these boxes super fast now. So I'm not even thinking about it. Well, once you're on like the 50th box, I would assume. I mean, I was- I was actually folding these up super fast when I started the stream, so... And then you're sorry, you're just you like, like, I look silly, seconds. I don't know what I'm doing, because... You, you had never folded such a box before. Yeah, so the next time that I fold these boxes for the for the for the holiday orders, I will mm -hmm. be a I'll be the avatar. <laughs> Hideous. What the So, weird thing I just discovered. What's that? Uh, one of the DA game's dog tags is connected to a keychain. Huh? Oh, it is. Is that what bad? What do I- what do I do? Somebody's gonna have a lucky one. <laughs> yeah, you get the one-of-a-kind one, I guess. Everyone else gets a necklace? Well, yeah, well, I got a keychain. <laughs> yeah, why did- why did that happen? Lucky person. <laughs> okay, I mean, I can- you know what, if someone emails me being like, there's that, I can always just mail them a chain, like a necklace chain. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be a compromise, but I, I would assume that's an error on Igor's part. Probably. I mean, it's the only one that's not connected to a necklace. Huh. I mean... People make mistakes. At least it's connected you know, to something. You, you never know. It's like, whoever gets that might be like, Oh, cool, it gets to go out the backpack. True. Yeah, yeah. I but, mean, if we if we get an email, then I can always fix it. Yeah, if they if they have an issue with it, they can email you, and we can send them a chain. Yeah, I mean, the chain won't won't co will cost Jack Diddley, you know. No, of course not. That's like what fifty cents. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what but, was I doing? I, yeah, I was packing. Yeah, you're packing. <laughs> Just that yeah, one but, one little odd duck in the pack. I do I make it number 50? Like, what do I do? <laughs> uh... I mean, yeah, I guess I would set it aside and make it, like, the last one packed. You'll stay right here, buddy. <laughs> He's the special kid in the class. He is special. You know what? Yeah, and he it, is. He gets and it's the inner, one and it's unique it, one. He has, he has, like, the cut, the rainbow acid that that Igor did on this one is also really nice, so... Uh, got a Someone question. Someone gets the keychain and tells everyone it turns, out, it turns out I needed to do my laundry, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to dress <laughs> my bed in Christmas quilts. Yay, oh, it's the holidays! This is the only one I have. How <laughs> fitting, because the Christmas song is apparently playing. Oh, but God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Magical Dude says, Ask all, has anyone besides Key ever cosplayed? I want uh, to. Uh, I actually know exactly what I'm going to cosplay if I ever did. I just need help with it. I mean, I dressed up as Lupin to see the first in theaters with Tia. So that's technically yes. I guess that counts. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's just casual cosplay at that point. Exactly. And, I mean, it's not like we can cosplay anywhere else. <laughs> it's counting Halloween? No. 
<laughs> oh wait, no, no, te by technicality, I've worn Chris's aficionado's Chris get up. He has. I have photos of that. Yeah. And I maybe okay, maybe Tinky Winky for a video, but still. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, about Tinky Winky, huh? Give him love. <laughs> you cosplayed Tinky Winky. <laughs> That video has a lot of views. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. I know the algorithm. I mean, would you not click on a video where a very sad British man is wearing a Tinky Winky outfit? <laughs> I mean, of course I would. I, that's my point. <laughs> I know the algorithm. Sometimes it ain't worth it. <laughs> but that was worth it. I don't know, man. I think you make funny stuff for, for those weird Zoomer kids. <laughs> I'm hit with the kids. Uh, yuck, yuck. You geriatric uh, he'll, he'll, millennial. He'll, he'll... <laughs> okay, uh, Mia says, ask all, what's your favorite horror movie or game? Misery is my favorite horror movie of all time. Resident Evil 8 and My Bloody Valentine. Technically, what? mine would be the FNAF and Vendi series because- What the I fuck mean. happens at the end of that Christmas song? I thought that my computer was about to crash. There's like this- Wait, it was just this- it, At the end of the Christmas song video, it just goes- eh, 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 You know what that was? That was a rendering error that I never picked. <laughs> that scared me half to death. That's how people felt when they listened to I Want You, She's So Heavy on their record player, and then it cuts off into no sound, and people wondered, wait, did my record skip? Like, what happened? <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know about horror game. I don't really play a lot of them, but horror movie would easily be uh, Halloween 1978. Yeah. If we're talking about a horror game, Among the Sleep is my favorite. Mm. Oh, Among the Sleep, that was fun. Among no, the Sleep is no, one of my favorite baby. favorite horror games. Oh yeah. I'm I'm baby. I'm your baby. baby. Your comfort. Which my bloody Valentine, Will? There was a remake. What? I said, which my bloody Valentine is a remake. Oh, um. I, I just assumed I the original. Was, I think it was. The, I think it was the remake. Oh. Oh. I actually liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But also but, bear in mind, I was a kid, so mm. I, was easily, I was easily impressed by a lot of things. As far as <laughs> I play a lot of uh, horror games, so I guess uh, Resident Evil 8, um, Silent Hill, at least the, the original Silent Hills anyway. Uh, Five Nights mm. at Freddy's, I like uh, Heck yeah. Outlast and all of that stuff. Outlast Whistleblower is my favorite of the Outlast ones. I don't know if it j it's justified to call it DLC. There's so much content in it. Yeah, that's definitely... It's a very generous DLC. Very much. It's not like it's on an arc. I was like, oh yeah, cool. The husband character in that is terrifying. <laughs> that, that fucked me up. That like... part makes everyone's wee-wee quiver. Just like, oh! Oh. What? Appar apparently there's mannequins in uh, Resident Evil 8, and I haven't, I haven't oh. gotten that far Oh, yet. not mannequins! <laughs> Technically, I guess I have another horror game that I kinda like, and I play... Uh, Ib! It's, I oh, Ib. yeah. I actually... I, the mannequins scare me. <laughs> I, I don't like mannequins. Scary. I don't like mannequins. Man okay, another order. combo order. <laughs> Uh, Joe's TV says, ask all, funny school stories? Uh, man, it's been so long I since I've been one, in school. I have but it's also sad. I don't really remember any stories from school. I, I have one, but it's also kind of sad, if you're, if you're willing to hear. I mean, sure, say it. I say sad things all the time. So, one time I got locked in a locker by somebody. Uh, yes, I did. Oh my god. Um, and the janitor ended up hearing that I was in there and had to unlock the 
the, the thing and showed me how to unlock it from the inside. Huh. I, I didn't even know you could do that, but apparently you can un- Don't just shove somebody in a locker. And just be like, oh, go get don't out. Just, and don't- and don't, like, lock yourself in a locker. That's, like, if you want to do that, make sure, one, you're teeny. Because I was teeny. Because those lockers are not, um... I, I think it was specifically just school lockers, too. Uh... I, I, don't, I don't know if there was a difference or not, but I don't remember. It was, like... How long ago was that? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Well, that's bad. I don't remember how long ago that was. I, I was in like 10th grade. Probably. Yeah. So, so yeah, so things might have changed since however long that was. How old? Am I? I'm 25 how? now. I graduated in 2015. Yeah, so you're either 24 or 25. Because I graduated in 2015. Yeah. I'm, I'm 20, I'm 25. I'll be 25 in August, technically. Our lockers oh, wow. are way too thin to be able to have someone in them. My, mine were pretty small too. The only reason why I fit is because I weighed less than 100 pounds. I was like, uh, I think at that, that point I was like, uh, 8, 80, 90. Jesus Christ. I'm tiny. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, you I, are. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't Chris doubt. Is... Yeah, I don't doubt that. You don't doubt that because you've seen me. Yeah, you are. I'm you are. Person. You are small baby bean. <laughs> you said. You said that I make you feel tall. You do. Because <laughs> you're a baby. <laughs> Especially baby. when you compare me next to all of my uh, like tall friends that I was hanging out with during the con. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I felt I literally grabbed onto one of my friends like the back of their shirt. I was like, "Help me! <laughs> I don't know what's happening." It's cool. It's cool. And then there's cool. Chichi. Chichi's fun sized. Yes, she is. Uh, <laughs> but see, no, uh... no, no, chat. I did not say Among Us is a, my favorite horror game. It's Among, among the, the Sleep. The sleep. It's about Jesus a tod Christ. it's about like a toddler trying to navigate through this weird horror mystical land and get away from a monster and it, there's a huge story with it because you're from the point of view of a baby. Big monster that's sus. Yeah. So get your goddamn Among Us out of here. <laughs> Among Us! Among Us! <laughs> Among Us! <laughs> okay, wait, I'm having trouble remembering. Uh... Two plus two. No, I'm, uh... Lizzie, what's your hair color? It's like a blondish color, right? It's like a dirty blonde. Okay, so that would be a lighter so, color. Oh god, that is a weird name. Day. Uh, Psycho the Weirdo... Uh, says, ask all, do you like to read books? Yeah, I, I, like, I like to... Like I, yeah, I like to read books. I also listen to some audiobooks, but I have to play them at, like... Hmm to speed because I feel like most audiobooks read them too slow because I'm a speed reader. But, uh, I like reading non-fiction, which I think sets me apart from some people because I really like No, reading. I'm the same. Yeah, I like- there's so much interesting history in the world. I do like fiction, but I'm like- I either I'm like- I'm more interested in just, like, learning as opposed to, like, experiencing, a, like, a fictional story. Because I have yeah. the occasional good fiction book, but I'm more of a information hog. I noticed like that the more... yeah. <laughs> I noticed that the... yeah, you just like to be more in, in, in like <laughs> informed. Uh, informed, yeah. Yeah. But I uh, I tend to my fictional stories that I really like tend to be like hot. If you're gonna go fiction, go fiction. Like, I like high fantasy, high sci-fi. I knew it. That kind of stuff. I knew you were gonna say fantasy. Well, you're, I mean, like, you're, my... You're such one of a my, fantasy nut. One of my favorite book series is Percy Jackson. I grew up reading Percy Jackson books. Mm. Like, around all the Potterheads, I was the Percy Jackson <laughs> one. But, uh... Which, by the way, did you know they made a Percy Jackson musical this year? Well, last year I didn't know it. It's yeah. it's well, it, well shit. Yeah, 
I, I don't know how you condense Percy Jackson into one musical because, well, they can't even condense Percy Jackson into like three movies. But you know what? There's the three Percy nice. Jackson movies? I think there's three. Or there's one in production and there's two. One too. Yeah, but there's a one in production, I think. Huh. Or there could be rumors. I remember hearing something that there's say... a new Percy Jackson movie. And yes, Charlie, you can shill your book. <laughs> You can let me uh, If you Charlie... watch my videos, you would notice yeah. the bookshelf in the back. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of books on that shelf. We actually had a question today on the podcast of uh, what is a, a book recommendation that we all had. And uh, uh, mine was a nonfiction book. But uh, yeah, Charlie's one of Charlie's jobs is that he's a translator for books. Like, you know, oh. translating books. Yeah. So... He's been doing that, and I'm very proud of him. He's, it's a really cool job. And that was Order 6... That was Order 60. Yes! Order 60! Ooh! 21 get more to left! The next nine. Shame! What's a common color Shame. that we have? <laughs> Wait, repeat that Repeat that question? A common color a that common... what has? Me, you, Lizzie, and Will. What's a common color? Uh... Probably green? No, I mean, don't. doesn't your character have green eyes? Or does it have red eyes? Uh, he has red eyes, but he has teal in the uh, ribbons. I guess that works. It's kind of a shade of green. Uh... I mean, I would also say purple, because I do tend to have purple- I- there's purple in my character's sweater. Purple? Yeah. Like a... It looks like either purple, green, or maybe even blue to an extent. Yeah, uh, but I mean, like, the, uh... I, I mean, <laughs> the- the, uh, the obvious answer is that we're all white. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not true. That is true. That is true. Where's the lie? The what? I said, where is the lie? There is none. Hello, it's I'm a white true. girl. So my opinion is invalid. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, wow. Maxi Izzy says, ask okay, P, not do you play Fallout 4? Uh, yeah, I've played all the Fallout games. Uh, my favorite Fallout games are the original Fallout, like the top-down-ish looking one. The isometric point of view looking one. And uh, Fallout New Vegas. Mm. New Vegas, I, I wow. real Of the modern Fallout games, you know, where you're actually a first person kind of thing, or you could pick between first person or third person point of view. I per my I tend to really like the... Uh, Fallout New Vegas. Fair enough. Okay, 30. I'm so struck by what Lizzie said. Oh my god. Yeah, I, Jesus. Okay, so that was Order 60. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll mute myself. Right now I'm uh, no, what, no, it was what you said. That was it was like, you, what you said, wow. not the noise you make. But, uh, okay, we are now at Order 61, which is just an iris tag. Number 43. Yeah, 43. I want to listen to DA games. You know, I, I've, I've kept thinking about like, like DA games. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah, I think, I, I think uh, bootleg GA games would be damn games. We said that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we said that. <laughs> and I started just doing a really bad Daco impression. Oh. <laughs> I love Daco. He's a good boy, but it's just really easy to do a bad impression of him. Hello, guys. Guys, can I play? <laughs> Can I play Five Nights at Freddy's without divorcing my wife? The answer is no. 
Uh, I do. People keep saying that Will sounds like me. We I talked say, about that too earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. That means it's, the topic's relevant. It, 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 Will. Yes. Talk like me. I'll talk like you. Oh, Tom, we're right. <laughs> yeah, go, oh, you go. Let's 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 go. let us uh -oh. I, did that, oh, I did that voice on one of Will's streams for a bogus where he uh -huh. was like, uh, the gimmick is you have to do an impression of, uh, I think it was like, for some, it was like the person above you and the person below you. And in one case, I, w I was next to Will. And they were like questioning me and they were like, Yo, Chris, did you do this? Like, I don't, you, that didn't pick up at all. <laughs> well, I was doing the Will voice, and Will was just fucking crying, laughing. <laughs> yeah, because it was literally just like, we were talking, and then there's like two seconds of silence, and then Chris would be like, you, I'll, I'll, I'm turning you! <laughs> it just came out with all of that. Oh, man. I would love to do an Among Us like that. I hope I get next to Sean, because... Hey. What? It's Among Us. Fine, Among Us. I really hope yeah, that I would do that because if I was next to Sean that'd be the easiest impression to do. All I have to talk it all I have to do is talk like I have a deviated septum. <laughs> yeah, cuz that game uh, was part of a big series called Super Among Us Party. A combination of Among Us and Mario Party. It was little mini games. Yep. We have a, a, a spinning board and whatever the spinning board decides is the next mini game. And uh, it, you need to win stars and coins and stuff, and then you get special. And hearts and balloons. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, and one of the rounds was, I um, can't remember the name, but it's like, it was that round where you impersonate the person below you in the Discord uh, VC. Unless you are the below one, then it'd be the top one. But yeah, just going in full circle, would... everybody did it. <laughs> I would never forget the time that Sean killed me because I like chocolate. Ice cream, oh, yeah. specifically chocolate. I'll never forget the time that Sean killed me. Because I like chocolate. I'll never forget the time Sean walked in and used 2% of his power to blow out the entire eastern seaboard. I'll never oh. forget the day that Goyabon walked on set and announced that he had killed God. Oh, oh Wait, my god. Oh, no, no it's the Shaggy meme, the where yeah. people were just photoshopping interviews from Scooby Doo, the live action. Yeah, movie. What, what if someone, what if someone's watching a nature program? Uh huh. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, they start watching it, and it's like, <laughs> yes, yeah, they see the words. animal that's the, they, they see the animal that uh, Attenborough's narrate about, and it's just like. A mongoose! Oh, god damn it. No. Stop. And thank you, Charlie, for writing that in <laughs> chat. No, oh, I don't. I, no, I don't forgive. Forgive and forget. Uh, what were we talking about? We I talking don't give no. is one thing. Forgetting is another. Exactly. Anyway, uh, ask Key which character from Percy Jackson did you like the most? The main character. I love Percy. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, what did thanks. I walk into? The herp de derp de doo. Don't make fun really of, of the audience. Fun of but it's funny. It's in a funny voice. Uh huh. And how is that not making fun of them? If they're not complaining, say, then it's funny. I don't say, look at me, I'm insert name, herp de derp de doo. I'm merely taking what they said and making it funny. Hi, Pilgrims. Anything, I'm officiating out of Chris Pilgrims. <laughs> Where's my well, I know what I'm not needed. <laughs> yes, Pixie. Uh, Will does, in fact, still have those very cursed dolls. Yeah. Well, my looks been pretty good recently, so... <laughs> hey, so good. my looks beginning to turn. 
Actually, don't burn them. Yeah, you don't bur uh, burn them, you bury them. Or else they bury No! If oh, you bury too many them, games they'll arrive. Yeah, too many games is happening in October. Uh, I mean, I would say as long as everyone is vaccinated, which I'm going to be, and I think Chrissy is. I'm already vaccinated, well. man. And I to, that, I, yeah, I do need to speak to Kristen about uh, whether I'm still going. Uh, mm -hmm. Because they're doing the convention, just so I realize it's going to be a week or like maybe a few days before I go to Hawaii. So it's just going to be very awkward. Why are so you going I'm, to Hawaii? Well, going to so because uh, Sophie's dad passed away and his um, ceremony is oh, happening. Oh, right. Her mom's moved over there as well, so we're gonna go visit. Um, basically to celebrate. Well, not really celebrate, but you know what I mean. Celebration uh, of life, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and then we're gonna go hiking and all that stuff, and then uh, that's it. I would say but, the the answer to your question is that if I was to wager, it would really just be like me, Will, and Chrissy, because Sean and Team Plant really don't want to be traveling for a which, while which, which is valid yeah so it'd probably just be the three of us yeah. if it happens because that's the thing is that that's a big if yeah i because they they put me up last year and they had to cancel the convention um mm -hmm. but much like much like momocon it's like i don't know if they remember us so i i'm i'm well i know too many games would if i just simply inquire then yeah but momocon, no, momocon remembers Okay. Cause I always get worried about that because I don't I don't get the emails, so I'm left in complete no, darkness I do. at the time. <laughs> I told you that is that like because I I had I had tipped you off early on that it was being canceled again. <laughs> <laughs> they hadn't even announced at least when we did it that they hadn't announced that yet. So because I only say this for safety reasons because you know. Uh, yeah, people need to know whether or not they should be travel ready during a time when really no one should be. Uh, Nocturne says, ask all, what's a story you find yourself coming back to in spite of the flaws? It can be a book, movie, or game. Paprika. Uh, <laughs> Paprika? It's a story. Uh, is it are, are you talking about the Satoshi Kone film? Yeah, Paprika. I every time I watch it, I'm just like, I still don't know what's happening. But it's so like, <laughs> whoa. I've only don't seen one Satoshi. Me. I've only seen one Satoshi Kone video, me movie. I don't remember uh, many things. <laughs> Same. I I, I, I I just know Paprika. I believe I watched Perfect Blue. Oh, okay, I'm dumb. I was like, where's the last pack of DA Games tags? It was behind a bunch of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, Chrissy? I didn't hear the question. Oh, uh, what's a story you find yourself coming back to in spite of its flaws? Book, movie, game, etc. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Why not yeah. Scoob? Oh yeah, Scoob. Scoob has flaws, but I love it to bits and yeah. it made me cry. I I know one game that I go back to to find its flaws. It's many, what many flaws. That's Sonic Adventure 2. Oh yeah, you trash. Look, I have a nostalgic attachment to that game. It doesn't mean I can't pick out its flaws, but his my god does it have a lot of flaws, but I still love it for what it is. I guess I mean, I mine guess for a real answer would be Tetris. Oh, uh, well, Tetris doesn't really have flaws, though. It or makes a story. Me sometimes. Yeah, but that's not a story flaw in the game. Yeah, but... Well, no, no, I mean, uh, that, that was just a side thing. Well, technically, I'm not talking about Tetris Tetris, I'm talking about Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oh, exactly yeah, I guess there is a narrative in that. Oh, you mean... You mean I, I Tetris with anime? 
I must be one of the most uncultured people because I don't, I don't. Rem I'm making a full universe story with fucking huge, massive art, and yet I can't remember a single fucking movie or story or game that I play. <laughs> that's, I know that's nothing. Kind of the same oh, here. I'm usually just very satisfied with anything that's on the screen. I'm like the worst person to <laughs> critique. If it's got flashing lights, explosions, good music, and good acting, I'm just like, that's yeah, alright. <laughs> I suppose the Super Mario Bros. movie would be my answer. Mm. I like the Super Mario Bros. movie. As you should. He Me and Dex had this bros. thing like, you know, because he was saying, Man, I don't know why everybody shits on the Mario movie. I, I thought it was really good, and I was, if we just both shouted together. It's just like, yeah, so it's fucking good! <laughs> Every time one of it us... Has, movies, it has a cult start, following. We just, we just start shouting, and we shout <laughs> it's very like the problem with the movie is that you can boil down all the complaints to the same ones like it's not like the games it's like it was 1993 the games yeah. didn't really have a whole lot of lore to them <laughs> it was just Flubber goes to save princess and I think like another complaint I always think about is when people say like how they hate the Goombas because instead of big heads and little bodies they're little heads and big bodies and to me, I say this, like, for the tone of the movie, the Goomba in the game would have looked ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, sorry I'm taking a pause with packing. I, I, uh, misplaced, even... I misplaced one DA Games dog tag and I need to find it. Don't worry, you keep looking and I'll keep reading. Uh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of questions all of a sudden. Um, uh, Princess Celestia, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you all, doing here, Princess? Which OC do you like the most apart from Key? Uh, Found it! Haha! -ha! I could be biased and say Gatoni. What, is it webcomic or something? No, just like, which OC do you like the most apart from Key? Oh. Uh, yeah, Gatoni. Uh, I like Andre. Goliath. Yeah. Goliath. Yeah, I like yeah. Inky <laughs> for obvious reasons. Lizzie. Uh, I can't really think of anything on my top of my head. Mm. I'm actually amused by B saying Andre because I thought she'd be more. Morgatoni. Yeah, that's you know, right. Probably mine. Yes, yeah, he's, he's a skinny shithead. It's her type. Okay, you know what? Maybe I just, maybe I just say I just think Andre has an interesting backstory. Thanks. <laughs> you know mm. what? Maybe a combination of like Tia's character or Tay. Before this video starts, I just wanted to let there you know. There you go. And um, also, my um, Ozo Matsu OC that I've been working on, I'm really liking her. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I could also cheat and just say Abby and Theo together as a joint you package. Can. Yeah. There you go. Here's my answer. You're Next allowed. question. <laughs> uh, Next ask question. all from Mia, what's your zodiac sign? Pisces! Leo. Uh, Gemini. <laughs> Scorpio. Pterodactyl! And it's pterodactyl. <laughs> I said, stop! <laughs> Could you imagine if Power Rangers had, like, instead of shouting dinosaurs, they just shouted shout Zodiac sign? I can't imagine that, because you know what that is? That's the fucking Beverly Hill al tattooed alien fighters from Beverly Hills. Oh my god, uh, you watched that? I watched the entire show, Chris. Oh, why? Why? Because what? it's bad. Uh, why do you watch something oh, that's bad? Because it's bad. it makes me laugh. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I watch bad things all the time. I'm a, I'm a bad movie fan, but that's that's a whole other conversation. Uh, 
Joe's TV says, ask all any podcast you like. Oh, my brother, my brother and me would be a, a top recommendation for most of us. Can I say my own? Uh, yes, yes, you can say your own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my brother, my brother and me, obviously, is, is a big one. Hey, Chris. Kyle? Say Chris it with man. donuts. Ooh. Oh, I have a podcast I like, technically. Uh, Trash Talk. Yeah. Huh. Tra Sounds Trash like Talk this. is good. I like, uh, um, Trash Talk is really good. Ricky Gervais oh, yeah. Show. Oh, the Ricky Gervais Show. Oh, yeah. Ricky Gervais Show is like the king mm. of, of good ones. The Carl Pilkington hour, essentially. Um, <laughs> my, yeah. uh, the. I also like, uh, besides my own podcast, Awkward Cash, <laughs> I also like, uh, Cox and Crendor in the morning. Mm. Uh,. Back when it was happening, rest in peace, Total Biscuit, the co-optional podcast. Um, yeah, and and uh, trash talk, and uh, my brother, my brother, and me. All good, all good shit, good shit, good also, shit, lad. I'm a fan of uh, I'm a fan of what the fuck with Mark Maron. Yeah, mm. That's a good one. And controversy aside, I do listen to the Joe Rogan Experience. There's actually some really good interviews on that show. That was order 63, I think. 63? Six more. I know, you just want to get to 69. I do, and then I could die happy. Don't die. That's right. Why not? Because... I heard that's illegal. Because that's cringe. <laughs> Derek the Brony oh. says, Ask all, do you have any video game you find very frustratingly hard? Uh, uh Friday Night uh, Pumpkin? Uh, Dark Deception. Uh, I had one and then I completely forgot one. Oh Dark my god. It's, uh, Where? Dark Deception is a horror, uh, indie game that was made by, uh, in collaboration with some people and the same guy that did, um, the the joy of creation which is like a fan-made final of freddy's game um ah you also Dark did a song Deception. on it it's super 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 rng and i hate those kind of games because it doesn't require skill it just requires you trying to survive and hoping the enemies don't go to a specific direction and it's super overpowered so no uh Let's say the it's Microsoft Solitaire Grandmaster mode. <laughs> oh my god. I love that both of our answers were things we did for knockouts. I like Fri Friday Night Funkin's a game that I can lose a million times and I don't feel bad. I did. I know you. So wait, is this a game that frustrates you? Uh, I can't. I have a couple. Cuphead. Did uh, you say? Oh. Cuphead. I have a couple. Sure. Um, I have two. I will have a couple. Cuphead and um, to an extent, um, no straight roads. Ah, uh, no oh, straight roads. Is, no straight roads is fun, but Jesus, it can, it can kill you. Oh no! Oh no! That game is fantastic. But when you get to like some of the higher levels, or like some of the higher difficulties on these bosses, it's just woof. No, oof, thank you. My goof. Uh, my, my second game. Everyone might be surprised at this one, but uh, a game that it, it does it's not hard, but it is very frustrating for me, and I found it to be one of my my second trigger game. It's <laughs> Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transform. <laughs> ha! Huh. I don't I don't know why of all the games, is Cuphead in that game. Are like the two I mean, things we all have about all hand. I mean, we all have felt that everyone else is really good at racing games. So... Yeah, pretty, pretty good much. at racing games. But uh, that one, whew, if I'm not in first place, I get mad. When I start getting in fifth place, I'm just like, oh uh, no, 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 no. No, this, this is, is incorrect. This isn't. This is illegal. Uh, yeah, be better than me. Pixie asks, "Who is your favorite kaiju?" Mothra. 
Rodan. Hi. The monster. Giant Big monster. monster. Giant monster. Barney the dinosaur. I'm not I know. Honestly, a lot of time. Clifford the big red dog can count. <laughs> Clifford the big red stab Honest. wound. <laughs> I'm not familiar with a lot of kaiju, but I do really like the design of Mothra, so I'll just go with her. You I'm not sure if this counts. What? Hey, I, I like said Mothra. Mothra. Yeah, Mothra's is a did, good but... choice. I'm not saying she is. I'm just the fact she doesn't watch it though. We gotta fix that. It's my favorite I'm, kaiju. I'm sure. My favorite kaiju is Mothra. <laughs> ah. My favorite kaiju is Mothra Hive. Honestly, Mothra Hive is a kaiju, so. Ha. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not sure if this counts. Freakishly but, uh... large. Oh, yeah. What? Lord. What's what? What is the? What is yours, Pinky? Uh, any. Most of any primal in Final Fantasy XIV. Not that count if, if it's a giant monster. They count. Yeah. They're giant They're monsters, really they count. It j just normal giant monsters. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Mothra. God, a lot of Mothra. Yeah, and, you're, uh, the, what is you're the Rodan uh, No, there was a Godzilla. It's mostly from Godzilla. It's, um... There was that one. The Destroyer? I think it was. Oh, Destroyer! Yeah, Destroyer. I love have to destroy her because you can't wait, copyright wait. that. <laughs> wait, dude, does uh, does uh, uh, Transformers count? They're big. No, no that would no, be. Those aren't those are kaiju. kaiju. Th those are. There's a whole different. Uh, those are mechas. Sub yeah, mechas. Mm -hmm. oh, man, this is so like you wouldn't be able to say like Avon Galleon or like uh, Gundam or anything because that's all mecha. But yeah, technically, just uh, any prime, any. It ha yeah. Any any Final of the big Fantasy. monsters from Final Fantasy would count because, you know, one that's Japan, which is where the term kaiju it, comes it from. It also just it just has to be a giant organic creature. So it is not naturally giant. Yeah. And um, most of the primals from Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, Joe's TV says, "Key, I like your podcast." Aw, thank you. We had a great show today, so. And now, the real question. Mm -hmm. Derek DeBroni says, ask all, what's your favorite pizza? Well, we, we answered this we answered earlier. earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Chris, you well, have to tell us what's your favorite pizza. Bacon. Just bacon? bacon? Hell yeah, there's bacon. No, I said just bacon. Uh, yes, because usually I'm like, uh, I don't usually order toppings, because at least the joint I get from, the pizza's Mario. still good, you don't need toppings. Mario's Yeah, Mario's, but if I'm like, yeah, sure, why not, I'll get it's bacon. It's a special day, and I'm a special boy. If I feel, like, really, you know, I just need a lot, you know, I'll get a meat lover's, so it's like, you know, bacon... And like uh, pepperoni, sausage. Yeah, sausage, ham, just like all the fucking meats. You know, just meat lovers. Uh, we're on order sixty-six. <laughs> Initiate order sixty-six. Order sixty-six. You, you okay? You have to drop Palpatine if you're gonna do sixty-six. I am gonna drop Palpatine. <laughs> You know uh, what? I'll even put it on the top of the box. Let me find a picture of go. Palpatine. Yeah. It'll be like, congratulations, you're order 66. Yeah. Uh, someone is sure. open. Yeah. Open 66. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> What were you saying, Key? Uh, no, I was I was muttering to myself getting a picture of Palpatine ah. up. Alright, well, I guess some more questions. Nocturne, ask all, what do you look for in a horror story? Uh, Nothing. I mean, I think with Happy any endings. fiction, you just look for a good story. Uh, I mean, I prefer psychological horror over just slasher gore horror, so... If you're talking about horror preferences... 
I prefer uh, horror of the mind versus horror of the body. I mean, villains, your favorite's villains, cube, so... Villains that don't manifest in, like, physical form, but are more like the kind of villains that pass on their legacy after death. So oh, that sounds very Hitchcockian. Yeah. Mm. I love it, it's just like, ooh, they're dead. Oh god, they're not. But they mm -hmm. are, but they're not. Oh no! <laughs> I'll, uh... Before we continue, I'll quickly answer this one. Uh, Key is packing orders for the limited run of DA Games and Iris Dog Tags. For those who are saying, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what she's doing. So yes, uh, what you look for in the horror story, I mean, I guess everyone answered who put answered did, did uh, Inky and Lizzie. No. <laughs> Inky doesn't right. like horror. Inky's I baby, little baby. I I don't, really, I don't really know what specifically I look for in a horror because it's like I don't know the kind of horror, I, I like more psychological horror or something that Hell really yeah. makes you that really fucks the brain and thinking. You like mind fucks apparently. Yeah, I like mind fucks. I don't know. I'm they're really Lizzie. fun to they're, they're they're really fun to watch because it's just like you never know what's how like like. To me, the best ones, best kind of mindfuck is like the one where, like, at the end, you still don't know what was going on or what's real or not. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm with you there. Uh, Joe's TV says, "Ask all, what is the first video game you remember playing? Pitfall on the Atari 2600." Uh, Galaga on an old uh, oh, on an old Gal uh, arcade cabinet in a deli. Hell yeah. Mine was the farthest I remember is Dig Dug. The very first one I remember is Kirby and the Crystal Shards. Fun spot on the Game Boy. <laughs> oh. That's cute! It was, it was a castle game where you collect loads. Oh, Crazy Castle. Yeah, Bugs Bunny Crazy uh, Castle. Game Boy. The first one I remember playing was uh, Mario 64. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, that's a that's that. Right. That's always a unique. Like, there's a generation of people where that was their first game. Which, which game? I didn't hear her. I'm sorry. Mario sixty four. Mario sixty. Well, my mom used to have an N sixty four, and she used to play that like, with us all. Like, like she could play that game and like read out like all the little details. It's actually how my brother learned how to read. Oh, because she that's, like read out that's, everything. That's so wholesome. <laughs> it is! Uh, Mia Arzuaga says, Ask all favorite flash drive song? Blue. Blue, Blue purple, black. I'd have to re listen to them because it's been so long, but I don't know. Oh, in green. I have, I have, those are my top four. No order, just, just my top four. Lizzie. What was the question again? <laughs> Favorite flash drive song. Uh, I, I kind of sworn I've heard one before. I just can't remember. It's the color ones. I, I Well, I think she knows <laughs> that. She just doesn't remember how they went. Yeah, like... Like, I know, I know that they're like the ones I, I just know that the one I heard is really good. I, I just can't remember which one it was. you remember what it sounds like? Why, yeah, why don't you just hum a, hum a bit. Will's gonna I don't know. remember what it's- I, I would know- it's one of those things where I know it if I heard it. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll look up the names. <laughs> Maybe something- Another call is- Shush. Uh... While you do that, ask all. If you watch Game Grumps, most of us do, uh, what yes. is your favorite Game Grumps video? Uh, Amazing uh, Frog? Ama Amazing Frog is great. Uh, my favorite series that they did was uh, Kirby's Dream Course and Kirby's Grump Course. My favorite Mine. series is Danganronpa. Um, mm. As of recent, and the newer uh, Rubber Ross Mario Maker levels. 
a favorite joke is in the Sonic Heroes uh, let's play. Oh. Aaron's like, take this, take this, take this. <laughs> He got super angry. Any basically any any video where Aaron gets like comically frustrated. That's why I didn't say the Sonic Hero series in general, because there is a point where he just breaks. And it's kinda of yeah. bad. <laughs> so. Uh Zelda Gamer says, Ask all favorite Goliath hey. throne song. Uh, I I there I can't Oh, yeah, what's yours? What's yours, Inky? Mine's actually the Sonic Boom ones that they do. Ah. Uh, Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Oh, yeah, House Party. And, yeah, House Party is funny, too. Alright, I fulfilled Chris's whim. And I and I did a little Palpatine on the box. Hell yeah. It's very hard to draw Palpatine with just a paint marker and no, like, construction lines. <laughs> so... <Same. laughs> Pretty good. Eh, could be better, but you know what? It's whatever. Oh, it, it, yes. The point is that it's a goof. It's funny. That's all that matters, yeah. is that it's funny. And now yes. they, it was a DA Games tag, which makes it... 33. Yeah, 33. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of questions coming at me. Uh, yeah, favorite Goliath Throne song. I don't have one because I'm not a, personally a fan of the Iris Project, but that does not mean I don't support it. It's not his type of music. Exactly. So, I leave that to everyone else. I'm sure Will... Actually, I don't think Will would have a favorite given the fact that that's like picking his children. Yeah. Uh, okay, I just went back through some of them. I, I just kind of skimmed through them and um, to answer the flash drive thing, it would either be black or red. Hey. All right. Edgy. Now the now pay attention because the current question is favorite uh, Goliath's throne song. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah I don't have an opinion on that one. I, 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 I have one, I just forgot which, which one. I want to make it. Wait. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Will, you make too much music. <laughs> Usually the one you mentioned. You have too many music. I, 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 oh shit, my mic. My mic is off. Yeah. Shit. Is uh, it? Hibernation? It, it's a different mic. Hang on. Ah. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. There we go. Thirty-seven, um, thirty-nine. You, you usually say it's like hibernation half the time. Yeah. Really. Hibernation, uh, hibernation, uh, override and conquer, omen, omen child, and um, uh, they're better off and going away are like the ones that I listen to on repeat. Yeah, it's kind of one of those questions, especially when it oh, comes to. Oh, when the to lights go out. That, that, well, that's uh, of, well, that's part of an artist, but yeah, like, just, just, thing yeah, the thing you have to remember, guys, about Iris is that like, um, I, I, I'm really the only one <laughs> who's who's focusing on it, and the rest of the DA crew, it's not their kind of thing. But that doesn't mean like they don't support it or anything. It's just it's kind of a hard question to ask like people who just aren't really in in the jive of it. It's like asking me. Oh, what's your favorite One Piece episode? I I don't know it. Uh, that's not my kind of show, but I support your happiness. I, I sent you what I was looking at to get a quick refresher. And I give you a little at in the month. Uh, JD Nichols says favorite Game Grumps uh, animated. Oh, Consume yes. Prilo Sick. I like the. Uh, uh, See, I guess I don't remember their names, but I think it's Shuchiru. I like a lot of his cartoons. Oh yeah, ooh! It's like, ooh! My, yeah. Yeah. my, but my dick either, just fell either, off. Yeah, oh, it's, either, no. it, it's either the Barack Obama one, um, <laughs> or it's what is it? Uh, it's one of the Power Hours where like Aaron's just smashing a box. This is probably from the same guy. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Generally, those animated are like that person who makes the animated. I love their stuff. Uh, this is a strangely sweet question. Uh, unless anyone else had Game Grumps animated. Mine is just yes. Okay. 
Uh, ask all, favorite thing you like about each other? Then my like friends, that's all I, I like gotta your, say. I like your face. <laughs> I like your face! I like, I, face. I, I, I like Will's creativity. I like all I like... of our banter. I like all of our banter and our creative ways of making banter joyful. I like how we work together. <laughs> Yeah. I just well, like how sweet everyone is. Smash like potatoes. Yeah. It's really hard to pinpoint like the best dogs because there's so many best dogs with my crew. Like I, I love them a bit. <laughs> so like, but if you had to off the top, unless of you're head, Sean. Unless you're Sean. Fuck Sean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Sean. We just don't love his yeah. winning. Yeah, yeah, he, he's winning far too much. It needs to be stopped or or nerfed. Um, but, no, yes. yeah, but that, see what I mean, guys? The playful banter. We can do that. You know, we, we, we just have that synergy where it's never bad blood and we always feel good about it. So that's what I appreciate the most about it. Like, we can, we can tussle, but it's like, the connection never dies it's often. So, um, yeah, that's what I appreciate the most. But there's generally a lot to appreciate. Like your face. Yeah, <laughs> I like your face. I was born without a face. Oh. You have more of a face than anyone else here. Says, ask all favorite FNAF DA game song. Mine is either March Onward or Left Behind. Left um, Behind. Parasite or We Want Out. We Want Out. I'd yes, probably that. say Left Behind. That one sticks with me. I am. I am going to be really. My voice is probably going to be really crunchy, but, um... Honestly, it's probably going to have to be Phone Guy. Because I'm the I'll Phone admit, Guy. I'll admit, Phone Guy was one of those, like... It's one of those songs where I, I wish, for the life of me, I had executed that a ton better for the time that it was. Um, but it is a it was a fun song to write, so... Like, it, the, I don't like the trilogy songs, just specifically because they were made at a bad time, but... I remember Not Here All Night specifically being like, sort of the end of that anarchy, and I was, I was in a kind of good place at that point, so yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, it does have a hook. Yeah. Alright, next one is 67. Two more and then you get your 69, Chris. Ooh. Ooh. Sean grew up with a father who always been. asked, are you winning, son? Yeah, and, he, and then... And Sean always said yes, yes, Dad. Sean made him proud. Why are you sad? I'm winning, Dad. At what cost, Dad? <laughs> At what cost? His... Again, Dad. We all detest his unnatural... Ab his, not, no, his inhuman ability to just quickly adapt and win a game. At least we know his, his weakness is Sonic Adventure. Okay, Even yeah. still, he was kind of picking it up after a while. Yeah. Yeah, but we, yeah. but you know, we need to, we need to break him. Yeah, it's our responsibility yeah, we as his friends. Yeah. <laughs> we don't well, want we him to get a big head. As friends, <clears throat> look, as his friend, we need to break his spirit, just like everyone else's. Exactly. He, he can't live on Olympus forever. It gets cold up there. Yeah. Yeah, he can't live be live happy. Biscuit. There it go. Uh, shut up, Chris. You shut up, Lizzie. You have no right. Okay. You shut up, Chris. You shut, no, you shut up. No, I can't shut up. It's my stream. Oh, yeah. Hey. Are you hey, the wait, one packing these? I can't shut up. I'm the one reading cost questions. I well, I guess, none of us, I guess none of us shut up then. The girls you are fighting. You know what? That's fair. Girls, girls, you're both pretty. <clears throat> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. <clears throat> what? You saying I'm ugly? No. <laughs> that was you who said it, not me. You said it, not me. Wow. All of a sudden, it's just people talking about uh, nap songs. There's no questions. Well, hey, it's a nice little break yeah. for you, isn't it? In a way, yeah. yes. But I'm all bendy. He's better. 
Aside yeah, from the bad business that. practices, but yeah, Bendy's alright. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look, we can't Mary. ignore it. We can't ignore it. I mean, it's I, you know, any time that it, you know it, somebody would point it out, it, it's become that synonymous. Somebody, it's like the elephant in the room. Like, yeah, Bendy was a, yeah. a good game for what it was, but like, there was that whole thing going around the bad business. But, but one thing I'll tell you guys again: people are only human, and they haven't done it since. It was a one-time thing, and. You can you be skeptical and be cautious, obviously, but it's done, it's dusted, let's just move on. Yeah, <laughs> it's done and dusted, just like Benny in the Dark Revive, wait. Chris. What? What? I'm, me I'm meant to be making a song. Okay, don't... <laughs> don't, don't tell anybody the game sucks. It's... wait, no, uh, hi guys, no, it the game... It's not even out. I know. I've actually I've actually been told quite a lot about it. Um, and oh, good. I can't wait. Yeah. So it's like only like I can't say anything, and I won't. But um, I, I, for all the work that they're doing, like there is a it is a massive upgrade. So um, be excited. Forty. I honestly can't wait. I'm really because they always talk about it. They always talk about it on Twitter. Or it's like yeah, it's going to be an even bigger game. I mean, they're not lying. So, I, I, on, my we, hopes it, is. To what was that about Iris Tax? This is the 48th out of the 49th one I'm packing right now. Oh, wait. Does that mean Order 69 is the last Iris Tag? <sighs> no, actually. No, actually. Order 69 is two DA Games tags. Someone ordered two of them. Oh, you know what you have to do. What do I have to do? You have do to I have to put, put a six on one box, box and then, yeah? You gotta 69 them in the box. Uh, the, first of all, that's not possible. These all go in individual boxes, but you know what I'm gonna do? On the oh, top yeah, of the yeah. black box, I'm gonna put a six, and the other one I'm gonna put a nine, okay? Yeah, Ooh. baby. <laughs> Chris, you are a child. Shut up. Yeah, but he's the child that helps pay me, so I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. Yeah, but I like to get paid. How else did am I going to get those Pokemon cards to give away at the charity stream on Saturday? Mm-hmm. Answer that, Shit, atheists. Right. Yeah. What? <laughs> God. Okay, I had to refresh the chat. Now we've got questions. Um... <laughs> Execute God. order 69. 69. Guys <laughs> <laughs> like Jontron. Also, uh, to Joe's people... Yeah, yeah, okay, before you get to the question. To people who have ordered and are watching their orders get packed, or maybe your order was packed yesterday, um, just FYI, I'm not mailing all of these at once. So... Everyone should be getting their package at some point in June, but it'll have to be multiple trips. If you ask why, yeah. I'm going to answer your question with a question. Do you want to be the asshole who walks into a post office with like 90 boxes? I don't think so. <laughs> and also, it's a precaution because mass shipment can actually lead to a lot of these getting lost. So it's better to do small, like, trips to make sure exactly. that they all go out. All right, 68. So, I mean, the last question we got, I think, from in regards to that was from uh, Emily, I think. Mm -hmm. And they kept asking, like, when are they shipping? When are they shipping? And I just said, uh, they're supposed to ship by June, at the very least. But that's the thing is that we don't know when their specific order in June will go out, but just, like, give or take June. So that's the best we can do. Because this is all, I mean, you're seeing, this is all being done by hand. You know, this isn't being done by a company that, you know, mass ships things. Uh, but yes, I think the question was from Joe's TV. Ask all, what's your favorite joke? I can't say it. Oh, no. Why is it dirty? But it's just Ricky Gervais. And, oh. I don't know. It, so sometimes expensive. he goes a bit highbrow, but it's just like, yeah. Uh... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell my favorite joke. Yeah, what's your favorite joke, Chris? 
Uh, so a man walks into a dentist's office. The man mm -hmm. says to the dentist, Doctor, I think I might be a moth. The dentist confused says, I beg your pardon? And the man says, Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a moth. The dentist, still confused, says, Okay, you're clearly psychologically confused. The man says, Quite possibly. The dentist says, You need to see a psychiatrist. And the man says, Probably. The dentist says, I'm a dentist. Why'd you walk in here? And the man says, Because the light was on. Of course, you like a moth joke. What's that supposed to mean? You laugh at the I'm... lamp meme no matter what. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the can I have a uh, large lamp? <laughs> Where's the lamp, ma'am? <gasps> it was funny. Lamp. Lamp. <laughs> yeah, anyone else's favorite joke? What do you Ooh. Favorite... The, for, I don't know what, but the the acid on the the a, the anodizing on this iris tag is really cool. Look, check, take a look. Ooh. Also, Chrissy, how what are do you, you going to tell the difference between the six and the nine if you put them to the same thing? Don't those two get reversed easily? Isn't that why they have like the little oh. line thingy on? Oh, them we'll the know. Numbers? We'll, we'll know, and we'll know that also 50 to 50 50 well, they mean, might be the, wrong. The, if you're talking about like the particular item, that's not indicative of the order number. No, I mean, like, you basically just wrote two sixes and two nines. Well, yeah, like, rotate it. Well, yeah, oh, but oh, I... I see what you mean. But yeah. I was answering, well, I was just like, well, we know which one it is. Yeah, well, we know, and I think so. I think the person knows their order number when they get their confirmation email, so maybe they'll put the puzzle together. Also, if you yeah. do flip- also, if you do flip them, they- Like, yeah, it could make 66 or 99, but... It just- it- it- it's this. They'll solve the puzzle. They're not idiots. And also, <laughs> come on, Inky, we're on the internet. People aren't making 66 or 99s. Unless it's Unless Tetris or Pac-Man. God, that yeah. looks so... That looks so cool. It's like flash drive-ish. I like that the dark streak goes right on the pupil. Yeah. That's what... That's the great thing about these tags, is that they're all slightly different from each other. Doctor Ask Keith, who do you like to main on Heroes of the Storm? Lucio! And that's that. Uh, exactly. Ask All from Maxi, favorite DA game songs that are remastered? Uh, which ones are remastered? Oh god, I have no idea. Well, the first one. I know one, the yes. Fallout one is remastered. The fall yeah, the Fallout one was remastered. The comic well, Renegade. that one's my favorite. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. The thing is, I don't know if I have a favorite remaster because I think most <laughs> of the remasters are of older songs, and most of the newer stuff, is, you know, because my favorite DA game song is gonna be "Can't Hold Me Back." Oh yeah. shit! My favorite like song overall is uh, <laughs> one that isn't released yet. But, oh well, <laughs> that and um, "Hands of a Slayer," but um. Mm. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, usually, usually, my mind goes to it's my favorite idea is it's not released yet. Same with like Donna Demetrix. Everybody's like, "What? What's your favorite?" I'm like, "It's not out yet." <laughs> <laughs> what about what about you, Inky? Favorite remaster? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't pay attention to what's remastered and not because uh, I just listen to them on replay. Is that yeah. so? Is that basically everyone is like they don't really know? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Hey. Uh, what? I was saying, random thing to note, um, it's premiering now, so I'll have to wait till after it's done premiering, but Scott the Waz just dropped his newest, his 200 video. Ooh. Cool. Gotta, I gotta watch that later. Yeah. Uh, sh girl. Because it actually says SH girl, so <laughs> sh girl. Ask all. One DA games or Irish song that you will carry for the rest of your life. Can't hold me back. I worked on that. Yeah. Um, uh, probably Ambush. not here all night because that's the song that solidified my love of the channel. 
I have to carry the blessing and burden of all of them. Oh. Depending. Uh, the question, Inky, was uh, DA Games or Iris song that you will carry for the rest of your life? Uh, that, uh, Heaven Nation. <laughs> Alright. He... I said, uh, Ambush. Am ambush. Oh, Ambush yeah. would be the second, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh oh. Oh, that, that's that's a misspelling of the same question. <laughs> uh, Joe's TV, ask all. Do you guys like JonTron? Hey, I did. I still kind of. Like I'm indifferent. Okay, that's fair. I, I can't. It's just too. Like I want to say it's that, that's bad. A, that's, hey, oh, JonTron was better. <laughs> That's a pit I don't want to jump into. Okay. Uh, Mia says, Ask all, what's a strange mm. dream that keeps reoccurring? Uh, falling. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, oh boy, I get a lot of strange dreams. Usually falling, getting chased by people, um... Let's not talk about just, this one. Just generally being lonely. I mean, you don't have to talk about it, but it's a question for everyone. This is perfect time for me to go eat. I'll be back. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. Sausage, sausages are a recurring theme. Um, for well, okay, being serious for a while. Um, it's usually like I was. I mentioned this a while ago, but it was a dream where like it was always the same house, and it would be different rooms, and each different room had a friend in, and the and the room aspect, like the the theme of it, was what I associated with them. So like with John Robertson, like he appeared in my dream at one point. He was like, it was like a complete bl pitch black room because he did the dark room. So it's just like, there we go. Um, Sophie, um, so Sophie, I remember it looking more like Marceline's living room from Adventure Time because we both like associated a love for Adventure Time, and she loves Marceline. So it's like that sometimes happens. I'll be in a, a a big giant house, and each room will have probably something that I associate with a friend. But other than that, sausages. Why specifically sausages? I don't know. It's I a dream. dream uh, do, a giant... do you yeah. want to do you want to psychoanalyze him right now? Yeah, I don't know why I um <laughs> I don't know why I had but I had this big dream of being chased by a giant sausage and its tongue was a skull <laughs> just running away from it <laughs> it's so weird are you afraid uh, of penises no i'm not i have to look oh my god oh it's just mine okay <laughs> uh my recurring dream thing is being in a car that's driving on a highway backwards oh god like it's in constant reverse <laughs> yeah. Can't explain that, but that's what it is. Don't don't apologize, Mia. Hey, Alright. Um, this person has DA games tag number thirty-five and thirty-six. I'm honestly surprised because I think there's only two people who, this person and another person who ordered two of the same thing. I remember Will mentioning the sausage thing a few years back. Yeah, I yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that that's kept consistent. Oh, uh, um, any more questions? Let me have a look. Uh, hashtag Ask Chris and Will. What was the process like for the CDs back before Screenwave produced them? Um, because we used Kunaki, didn't we? Yeah, I remember that. Is Chris still here? No, I'll answer that. Um, it was weird. I mean, we did it all ourselves. Most, the most that we had to do was whenever there was an order in, um, a specific amount of orders, we had to pay a certain fee. And they would never notify us. We have to go into the dashboard and like, oh, you owe us this um, for like some sort of shipping costs, I think, or product pricing. So we had to do that. And um, 
it was okay for a bit until we started seeing people have either blank CDs, CDs where they weren't even the songs, or it was a different album art. It was always something different and uh, it kept messing up. And the last experience we had was we basically just took down the stuff from stores. And then I don't think this is something Kunaki was um, experienced with, but they didn't. I don't think they've ever experienced a, 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 so, uh, a content creator sort of fan made, well, sorry, a content creator made thing of such high caliber because they're not yeah. a very known company. So, well, they are, yeah. but they've never had someone that had the audience you had. Because the, the most I've ever seen a Kunaki, when like a content creator uses them, it's like, you know, uh, the Cinema Snob or Linkara, who have followings, but they don't have millions. And this, ladies and gentlemen, and in between, and whoever in between, the la this person got the final iris tag. Order 70. Woo! 70! Hey. And welcome, Chi Chi. We only have 11 more orders to go! We can no. do it. But, yeah, and I guess for the rest of that question of, like, how simple was it, I don't know how much you answered because I ran to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, he just said uh, that, uh, uh, that he just said, but, like, yeah, uh, and, that you guys handled it yourselves. Yeah, pretty much. And that it was, uh, I assume he said that I basically went to Will with the idea because it was oh, like, I we gotta make some that. CDs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you, I, you, I had explained you, to you what, yeah. I approached you with and explained how Kunaki work, which was, cause I, I think it's, I mean, people know enough to be able to say it was during a financial problem where we need to find solutions to help make some more money. And one of them was to me, it's like, well, we gotta make CDs. Like people, you know, you're a musician. People are going to want CDs of some of their favorite tracks. So I explained to him how Kunaki works. It's like, basically, all we have to do is, like, you know, get the assets. I can make the CDs. You know, they're manufactured on demand, meaning they only make as many as are bought. And, like, it's all independent. We just get a cut. Uh, and it was a very successful run initially. Like, we we sold, like, 500 uh, Eternal Swing CDs in, like, I think, two months. I like bending. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> and, uh, I love Bendy. Rest assured, we do have plans to reissue those CDs because flash drives obviously back in print because that was a Kunaki thing for a while. And uh, but if there was one that I would say is top priority, it's definitely to get Eternal Swing back out into the world. Mm -hmm. uh, especially since since that CD, we've had not one but two Bendy songs with the I Am Me and the rock version, of course. Will's yeah, gonna do like some, a like Dark some, Revival uh, song. On, like some uh, Encore album. Well, yeah, because the official title of the reissue is uh, Eternal Swing Encore Presentation. So it'll be technically a new album. I it's, said it's the people that like... got... I said the people that got the, the person who ordered two DA Games tags was 35 and 36, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. Just making sure in my head. 36 <laughs> sounds familiar. Yeah, it uh, was 35 your... and 36. Looking at your desk, oh my god. <laughs> I'm... see... yeah. Oh. There we go. Anyway, so... Yes. Uh, Kunaki... I mean, I never had issues with Kunaki, but like Will said, it's like, it was probably just because of mass that... I don't know how anyone could keep up with that, given the way it was performed. We actually have... Uh, like Will can attest, we actually have a lot of leftover stock from when we pulled uh, the releases, be due yeah. to like a lot of a lot of people having issues, like you know, wrong cover art, wrong data, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And Will just one day just got like what was it, seven boxes of yeah. CDs. Right now, they're being. How does that make sense from an it from an on-demand service? I I surmise that what happened was because it was such a high demand that they were not used to that they were probably making cds in advance and then yeah. when we just pulled the rug which that thing is that the way the service works you don't have to like inform you can just say we're done and then you know stop listing it but i think because of the volume that kunaki was just like oh shit, we have like seven boxes of CDs from this one creator because they get so many orders. 
Because you gotta compare it to someone like the Cinema Snob, who probably gets an order order or two like every month. We're talking like Will would get an average of like 30 orders a day. Yeah. So that that was definitely more traffic than that site could have ever feasibly imagined. I can't I cannot imagine how much like how many times they had to print DA game CDs. Right now, those boxes are used as blockers that so Zelda can't get behind the desk. <laughs> We do, so, I will say, we do have plans to eventually sell the leftover stock, but it, it'll take some time, because yeah. one of the things I want to do, because of issues, is the stipulation should be, I want to take some of the Eternal Swing and Pizza Bump Mechanics CDs and uh, sell them through the same site where we were selling these dog tags, but uh, we would have to sell them opened, because I want to test every disc to make sure that it's okay. Before we send them out. I'll be fine with that. Um, well, you already have a copy. Who said I didn't want another one? Why would you want another one? I don't, I don't know what's new. To have, <laughs> and, to have and support her friends? Okay, but Inky, yeah. the CD is not new. It's literally the exact same CD you ordered. No, a new one. So I can have one to actually play and one to just have as like a collector's item. Yeah, like a display. Okay, but I said I, I was not... things. They wouldn't be new. Yeah, Let her support her that friends. That would be the one that I would be doing. Oh, ghosty. That would be the one that I would uh play. I was I'd just never think, I was mine. I was just thinking scrap eternal swing and just wait for the encore. Well, I mean, you know, they're entitled to not buy the old stock. But it's really to just get the old stock out. I just my worry is my worry is because of all the mess ups that happen with that stock, I can only imagine that there's some albums in my box that uh Oh might no, be I don't that, that's why that's why I specifically said that I don't wanna sell would... them if I if I don't wanna sell them if I know they're fucked. Well those. that's what I said, is that like I plan to open them and test all the discs to make sure they're not fucked before they're sold. Also, um uh you know, I want to start selling these on uh, Screamwave instead. Um, because what you're paying for with Screamwave is extra security as well. Uh, oh, that's, some, that's something, unfortunately, that Kunaki didn't supply. Some people actually had broken jewel cases. Um, so... Well, some of that can be just like shit. Um, At least this part, part is easier because there's no more... There's no more uh, iris thing, so I could just start just putting DA games pit tags in boxes. <laughs> you ran out of one, so all you do is just the one tag. Let's see. Because also follow up question: Since Harvest Artist Resurrection is probably going to be on hold for a long while, will the original version get a Scream Wave physical release on? Uh, also, an Overwatch EP would be cool. Oh yeah, because we did a few Overwatch songs. Um. Harvard Arts Resurrection, I genuinely don't like talking about that album because I don't know what's happening with it. It's either a yes or a no, and the fact that because people are constantly asking for it, and they, it's the one album that everybody's like super, super upset about, and I'm like, is there nothing else you could be super upset about, like your government? <laughs> it, it, it just it just feels like i don't know it's an album that's like okay it is what it is and it's whatever and uh you'd be excited for dawn of the matrix you know that's that's one of those things and then we've got new content i would just not hold your breath for resurrection um because you know i don't even know what's happening with that i might want to do it but then i might not because you got to also think i'm trying to put iris out of my head you know that that was a huge personal project i vented a lot into it and there was a lot of deep deep depression that went into that stuff and i want to have a clear head so in order to do that i need to just release this album and forget about the project and i'm and kind of tempted to give the person the the second person who ordered two da games tags one with the necklace and one with the keychain i mean that sounds yeah. right they get a variety yeah yeah I just want to be able to get that out of the way. Um, but as far as like releasing the original album, like I don't know, we there were talks about maybe doing it, but like 
That means also having to make the extra album art. And honestly, I've forgotten how to do most of the album art for that stuff. Like, I, I took a picture of my face, and I don't have the same picture anymore. I also don't know the right color gradients, the exposure levels, the, the hue changers. I, I don't know anything to do with that. I can't remember, because it was so long ago, that I wouldn't be able to make it a seamless-looking album cover even if I tried. So it's just like, I, I don't know. I would, honestly, with Heart of an Artist, it's just one of those wait-and-see things, because I've completely forgotten about the album, and... Honestly, I wish people would move on from it too, but I know that's not possible. So, just just for the record, as far as resurrection questions go, <laughs> one, I'm not answering them, and two, don't get pissed at that. Be pissed at your government instead. <laughs> but, you, hear, yeah. you hear it, guys. Uh, blame the government for Heart of an Artist Resurrection. Blame the government. Blame, blame Abram. Blame, blame Abram Valentine. Uh, here's a good question, since Chi Chi is here. Uh, who's your favorite character in Bluey? Bandit. Hands Bandit. down, it's Bandit. I'm with Chi Chi. Bandit. Bandit. I haven't seen it much. I don't know. Bandit's yeah, yeah. the dad, right? That's the dad, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. He is funny. Okay, yeah, from what I have seen, I guess the dad. Um, yeah. How can, how, how can you not love thing in Toons, it's always the dad that I like. Like Timmy's dad, oh. Dexter's dad. Especially yeah, in that show because he's so well written. Because he's written Saturday by and dads. Dad. And dad's car. <laughs> hey, remember that dad's one? Remember that one, one, remember that one thing we found where this one lady was, like, this one lady was thirsting over the dad? Oh, the, 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 the yeah. that Australian article with the dad, people thirsting over the dad from Bluey? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, here's an interesting one from Shagirl. It's Shagirl! Uh, it's ask Shigirl. all, any ideas on making punishments if you're gonna make a DA knockout IRL? Oh, so like in the same vein of DW? Um, I don't know. I mean... My question is, what would a DA knockout IRL be? I said obstacle. I, I came up with the idea of obstacle course. Ah. Uh, or Simpsons board game. <laughs> like playing a board game? Yeah, yeah, doing board game. Monopoly, Cluedo, uh, anything. Um, or Clue, as you call it. Um, yeah. But I uh, know that there wasn't. We didn't really think of punishments as, as the thing, but I mean, it's not off the table. Ice bath! Ice bath! Ice bath! Ice bath! Oh god, no. So I someone said. Out. Someone said something earlier, and I have to say, like, Bendy! I love it. I love him. Is there Bendy. anything you like more than Bendy? Ah, uh, well. For the fact that Inky was created simply because I like Bendy too much, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, um. <laughs> it wouldn't be an Inky if there wasn't a Bendy. I mean, it was it was a genuine question. I didn't know. Oh, uh, I like Bendy. I like a lot of things. Uh, no, everyone has their fixations. I like my it's, so, it's yeah. Yeah. Final Fantasy fine. 14, actually. I'm a little out of the piece of that game. I can I'm on a break. partially answer this one by the simple, uh, I'll, I'll say it before, but um, they ask Will, when Dawn of the Dematrix comes out, is there a chance of a dual pack with both Goliath's Throne and Dawn of the Matrix CDs, if possible, or just a pack with all the A game songs in general? Do you know how many CDs that would be? That would be like that when they did the entire Be Be Beatles disto discography on uh on cd which was a box that was like like here's the thing is super that big. possible yes that being said, is that wanted that, no that being said though it's not out of screen waves reach they can do that they have the capacity to do it uh plus they also have goliath's throne so it, it would make sense there was an idea there was a, a talk that i had with uh kristen of screen wave uh my representative um that possible bundles might work because people were complaining this is a whole thing about shipping costs 
so many people complaining about shipping costs and all of that when literally the answer is because it's the pandemic there, there's not a lot you can do about it and most places are doing it but people got bitchy they obviously came to me thinking i'm in control of that anyway rounding aside um goliath's throne is already part of screenwave store and dawn of the matrix is going up there there were plans of to shrink down the, and, and make the value worth it, the bundles might be a possibility for those who never got to experience Goliath's Throne the way they did. So, there's talks, it's not concrete, but we'll see. Uh, and in terms yeah. of uh, all the DA game songs, no, but we have talked about a Greatest Hits album at some point. Yeah. yeah. Well, because the thing is, again, yeah, uh, a CD of every single, well, Okay, technically no, because there are some DA game songs that are just not fit for CD because of the way they are mixed, and unfortunately, due to uh, things out of our control, we can't remaster them. Yeah. Uh, so things like, for example, uh, early, early DA game songs, stuff like "It's Time to Die" and stuff, only MP3s of those exist because the computer will originally made those on. You know, does not he does not have that uh, he doesn't have those project files anymore, so we can't go back and re like re render them into a higher quality uh, version. And really, I don't want to put a bunch of MP3s on a CD because then there's no point in getting the CD. And the only reason we allow that with Pizza Pod Panic is because there's literally nothing else. We can't remaster them, and Will does not want to remake them again in higher quality. So, you know, it was a stipulation of we wrote a narrative, uh, basically compromising that the early stuff's going to sound like shit, and there's just nothing we can really do about that until technology gets to a point where we can give an MP3, and then it just you know, boop, 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 here we go, it's uh, it's flawless, <laughs> but we're not at that point, so sorry. Um, but otherwise, when it comes to, like, anything more recent stuff from, like, I guess, 2017 and onward, uh, yeah, those could be put on a CD, and we definitely would, but to put every single song DA Games related on a CD would be, mul like, a multiple CD box set, and as cool as that would be, that would be very expensive. Not, there not is, there is. Back. But... There is one plan that I have announced, uh, which was last year during what I presumably called the DA Direct, that we were going to make a remaster album. Oh, no, no, it's not, sorry, remaster, rem remake album. And it was going to be based off of the rock songs from back then, the, the more... It's like a greatest hits, but it's for remakes. So it'd be a whole remake album. That's why you got uh, United We Stand as a remake and Atomic Renegade as a remake because um, they were going to go towards this big album because, as Chris said, like a lot of the older songs, if we were going to do a greatest hits thing, we, we just simply couldn't do. I'd have to remake them. And while I can't exactly remake electronic music, y'all going to understand, electronic music is not my specialty, even though it's the popular thing. Um, rock and metal is my specialty. And with all the equipment that we have, as, I mean, if, if Iris is anything to go by, we can definitely upgrade the rock stuff and the metal stuff so i was gonna go for a whole album that way whenever that opportunity comes it's not concrete it's not set in stone but um to get back into the spirit of da games because obviously i spent all of that time away from doing nerdcore music to do this album i want to brush my stuff back up and you know what better way to get us back into the scene than doing remakes of those rock songs because atomic renegade did amazing um united we stand did wonderful so there are some songs that i wish would have could have been done better and now i have the equipment i can do better so we'll yeah again because it's so hard for me to say yes or no because i'll backpedal and then sometimes anytime i say yes or no uh somebody will correct me and i'll be like <sighs> So I can't just say yes or no. I have to say never say never. But also just don't hold your breath. Yeah, but I mean, like, we have been, we have talked about just a greatest hits album in general. That would be multi-genre oh, yeah. just so people would have it. So y you never know. You never know, man. 
I still want yeah. to do the greatest hits because we have a lot of, to me, great hits. And we can put ambush on it now. Well, obviously, yeah. ambush will be on there. Ambush can't hold me back. Um, I mean, well, who? I, I, I mean, who knows? Yeah, you don't want to put F on there. Yeah, put F on. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? Maybe, maybe Founders Pack Two could be on there. <laughs> Founders Pack Two. That's that's coming. Uh, well, that that was actually something I had talked about with Will. Is that if we did a greatest hits, it would like end with the Founders Pack because I think that's a great sort of finale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's definitely going to be a second one coming in Christmas. So, yeah, uh, so, you know, keep your eyes and ears peeled. We got a lot of stuff going. Like, you know, people sometimes wonder, why are they quiet? Why are they whoosh whoosh? It's like, because we got a lot of shit going on. And I don't think people understand that a channel like ours has a lot of back end. And it's, uh, it's, it's to give you guys good stuff and also to give you guys stuff that we would also look back on and be like, yeah, because, yeah. you know, it's, we don't just want to release any old hash. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Questions, questions. Uh, ask Will from Zelda Gamer. What is your favorite line you have delivered as Abram Valentine? Oh, oh, God. I think it's from today's transmission. Um the Biobond one. It's something about Abram, because Abram's talking to Biobond, aka his brother. Um, and I can't remember the line specifically, but he's talking about it. It's like, our father built an empire uh, and that I've needed to reform. You left and abandoned us, etc. Um, it was kind of an emotional scene, but um, I guess after that, I don't know. Anytime he shouted, I guess. Um, Comedy wise, um, there's a part where he's speaking to Dovacom, and Dovacom's like, Have you ever heard of a circuit board, sire? And Abram's like, You ever heard of defragmentation? <laughs> and does it as a threat and shit. And I'm just like, Just the way I delivered that, I was like, Yeah, that's oh, fun. Oh no, I'm gonna have a fun time later. I found an extra uh -oh. iris tag. It's somewhere. Oh. So either Igor gave me 50 iris tags. Or I miss, or one of them, or I miscounted at one point. Which, if people are gonna call me dumb, you try handling like hundreds of these things. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal. I just need, I know the orders, so I could just go to the order. I write the order number on every box, so I could just go to the order numbers and be like, bip, 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 bip. and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, eh, eh, it's not a big deal. I just don't want people calling me dumb. That's all good. I mean, it is highly possible that there's just an extra one. I know, but I gotta double check because I provide quality assurance. Yeah, you can just rewatch your uh, <laughs> your streams and see if, if there's any you forgot. Yeah, basically. I have a question for anyone who still plays Animal Crossing. How the heck do I get the golden shovel again? I forgot. Gold. Gold. I, I actually don't know. I've never had it. I, I think you it's just a recipe to... you have to come across. Well, I I know there's some kind of like criteria 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 for that. Uh, Joe's TV says, "Ask all." Well, uh, will have you thought what? <laughs> uh. Why is it ask all, but then directed at Will? <laughs> Wait. Where Wait, are all right, I'll read. It's, it's uh, the last one. Uh, I'll oh. just say it as ask Will. Have you thought about doing the Founders Pack song live? Well, I'm sure he has. It's just he can't do anything live, really. They can't, one, I can't do anything live. And two, do you realize how hard it is to not breathe while singing? <laughs> Remember, that, me that medley is like a combination of so many songs and... There really is no breathing time, so I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do that. Um, but I, you know, never say never. I, I just have to stop in quickly say hi. You gotta bounce for now. Oh, so good. Have a All good right. one. Have a good one. Bye bye. See you later. Bye, Chi Bye. 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 She, she only said one thing. I am. I can. I know. <laughs> 
Hey, I'll always really cool. we'll be seeing her again tonight for monkey viewing. Monkey. Oh, yeah. Yep, Hashtag, ask, Hashtag ask Will, why was the title Medley changed to Founders Pack? Because Spotify wouldn't accept Medley, bastards. Yep. Well, Not even I though it's a medley it. of his own songs. Yeah. Oh, but they'll accept Charlie. Yeah, fuck Charlie. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. And by Charlie, Wait, I no, mean don't, don't. not Charlie. Uh, Lizzie, shush. Not Charlie uh, Odinoko. We mean Charlie is in CG5, or at least I mean it. <laughs> I um, I really wanted Medley, and, and I was trying for ages. But it's like, Spotify just didn't like it. It is like every time I tried it, they were like, "This doesn't, this, this doesn't abide by our terms." It's like, really, it doesn't. Okay, well, uh, Founders Pack, that's pretty cool. So I just wanted it out, you know. But yeah, that's and why I had to. Hello. Uh, ask Chris favorite Blu-ray review you've done for the channel. Uh, Sonic X is definitely up there. Oh yes, I do remember that. You're yeah, you're in that. Yeah. You're Chris. You're Chris. You're Chris. Yeah, we'll be like uh. You're Chris Fordyke. Yeah, we'll like, uh... yeah, that one scared Michael because the, the three the three children mocking me are Michael, Will, and Chrissy, and Will did like this great like stupid voice that makes me loud. <laughs> you're, you're Chris Fordyke. <laughs> <laughs> and then Michael do like his kid voice, and then I got Chrissy who did two very different, which was a really high pitched like little girl, and then like a, a bratty boy. And I remember playing the bratty boy for Michael when I was mixing the audio, and Michael's like, "Who's doing the boy?" And I go, "That's Chrissy." And he's like, "Wait, what?" Like, yeah, that's that's Chrissy playing the boy. <laughs> he's like, uh. She sounds like Kathleen Barr's boy voice, which is high That's praise because Kathleen Barr does the most uncanny boy voice of any female voice actress. She plays Kevin I on, thinking... on Ed and Eddie for reference. Yeah, I grew up thinking that Kevin was voiced by a guy for so many years until I went on this unofficial Ed, Ed and Eddie website and they had a link to the castings and I'm like, wait, that's a girl? <laughs> Also, Tia, you're welcome to come into the live stream. You don't have to just watch from a flaw. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Tia, please come I, in. I guess Let's I'd say... Together. Yeah, I guess what? I'd say Sonic X is definitely up there. And, I mean, I obviously really love the Lupin the Third Collector's Compendium. Because uh, that was a lot of work to put in. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, because I spent ages and money, lots of yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... But you were so happy though. That's the thing. Like, oh yeah, because I love Lupin the Third. So it, it, yeah. it, to me, it was like, uh, what, what would be the phrase? Like, like it was, it was, a, it was a major it was, benefit because it's like, I mean, it was a passion project. Yes, and Chrissy was. Uh, and very instrumental in that passion because she sort of rekindled my Lupin love because that was something we talked about uh, a while back. I want to say like quite a few years ago. We were, I, I also we were helped about, like, you edit that script. You do. You you are the rock that keeps. That's not. I was gonna say the rock that keeps me afloat. I don't think that's the phrase because rocks don't float. <laughs> no, Chris, that is not that term. Shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to compliment you. Uh, I, I'm you, aware. You are, you are the jelly to my peanut butter. <laughs> that's that's you are glue, glue. You are the glue that keeps me. Yeah, that's the phrase. There we go. You know we the got glue there. to my peanut butter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I am the glue to the peanut butter. I just thought of a curse of, of like a, of like a kindergartner like putting paste on one slice of bread and peanut butter on the other, putting it. That together. sounds like a very That's Carl Pilkington thing to do. <laughs> you know, Chris, that's assuming somebody hasn't already done that. You know, uh, somebody but... has. Shush. What was the point? Yeah, the. 
eat Chrissy rekindled nice. my Lupin appreciation because I love like I loved Lupin. I watched part two. I, I love Castle Cagliostro. And but I think we were just talking about like things that inspired us and you know like early memories and she would talk about uh the Japanese VHS tapes that she would watch as a kid. I think it was your cousins who had those or something. Yeah, cousins. Like you, or the families. And you know, she grew up with stuff like what is Yatsura and Lupin the Third. Sherlock Holmes. So Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. So she got to grow up with things that to me is like wow, because that's that's vintage stuff. You know, like not everyone, especially someone her age, wouldn't doesn't don't really necessarily have the benefit to be able to say, "Oh, I grew up with Urose Yatsura and Lupin the Third, Mystery of Mambo." Like those are very obscure things, really. Um, I mean, not as much anymore because now the internet is like in love with love, even though they don't even know where she's from. Because I see and all the internet is really. I, I would, and I would also consider Lupin to be a lot less. Um... Oh, it's become way it less obscure. Like, but when when Chrissy and I were talking about it, you know, very few. I think the thing that rekindled it was the first trailer for the first, because we were gushing about how good it looked, and it was just like, oh my god, Lupin, and then we just start talking about Lupin, and then I, I even basically called Chrissy out by saying that the way she draws her mouths is very Lupin inspired, because mm -hmm. she does like that little that little cat divot, which yeah. is very very subtle. <laughs> And even just like the way she draws, like, like she she takes a lot of inspiration from Monkey Punch more than I think she realizes. No, I um, know I fully realize it. I'm a mix yeah, between Monkey like, Punch and like '70s '80s cartoons. Like but, if Hanna Barbera and Monkey Punch, which they technically did once, but if, if they collaborated together, like for a cartoon, it would look like your stuff. It has that western, but also that lanky, long-faced look mm -hmm. of, you know, stuff that Monkey Punch would do. And so in doing so, I, I got curious about the idea of doing, you know, a compendium. Because the idea of, like, you know, even when trying to... Because at that time, Chrissy and I were talking about Lupin to other people. Because they would be like, what's Lupin? It's like, well... It's this. Oh, good. Where do I start? Um, <laughs> yes. You better want to sit down. Years. You need to sit down. And it was because of those talks, like, you know, talks with Lizzie or talks with Tia or talks with just anyone where I'm like, okay, so here's what it is. Here's why I think you would like it. And here's where you should maybe start. And then it made me go, you know what? There's probably a lot of people that need that because where do you start with Lupin? So it... You know, it was through that where I basically said, so I've decided uh, to also excuse myself for buying every single Lupin DVD and Blu-ray out there. I'm going to make a video to justify these purchases uh, by basically saying, I'm going to do what I do with everyone else, which is, here's what Lupin is, is here's the little history, here's all the stuff that's available, and here's what I personally recommend you watch. And it turned out to be a very in my honest opinion one of my favorite videos one of the best videos i've done and i know this because one of my old friends uh will knows him uh zaren Isaac, sean uh because uh zaren Isaac's daughter is a big fan of will actually uh yeah and we, we you know he's popped in here every once in a while uh where we bring in will because that brightens that brightens both him and his daughter's day when will pops in uh because he likes his stuff too and I remember showing him the video because he's also, like, he's a Lupin veteran because he's like, actually, I think he's pushing 50 because uh, he's definitely in his 40s. But I gave the video to him, like, because, you know, he's a Lupin fan. And his big praise was, how the fuck did you condense 50 years in only 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't even know. I don't know how I did it. I mean, I guess I do. I have friends who help look over my scripts to make sure I cover enough ground. And, you know, Christy's very good at that. She is probably one of the best proofreaders anyone could ask for, because she can speed read, and just has a very good vocabulary. Because me and her have that same thing of, we try to, you know, punch up our scripts so that they don't sound... Like, something I hate in a lot of video essays is how often people repeat words in a paragraph, and that irritates me, because, like, we have the you know, thesauruses for a reason. 
There's more than one way to say something. I may need to go and grab my bubble wrap instead because I think I'm all out of crinkly paper. Oh no! <laughs> all out of the crinkly! Uh, yeah, I'm on order 79. 70! Oh, uh, we only have two left. Well, yeah, but th I mean, 79 has two boxes, and then 80 and 81, which is yeah, the same, like, which is orders, the same but... person. <laughs> so technically, because yeah, order 80, 80 and 81 are from the same person, which I don't know what happened huh. there. Uh, but, how about but, uh, using words like I like and um and as? I mean, you kind of can't avoid some of those, uh, especially as. Like you can typically avoid, but unfortunately that's too grounded in modern conversation that people don't really realize they're even saying it. Like, yeah. I think. Like, um, <laughs> but no, um. <laughs> no, uh, like, like, oh baby. Like, triple. like, no, um. Like, uh, no, um, Scoob. <laughs> Mia Arzuaga says, ask Will, what is your favorite Dovacom line? Is that, did I say oh. right, Dovacom? There's two, but like one of them hasn't been like voiced yet. I can imagine how it's gonna go though, because the story in my head is gonna be crazy. But um, the one line, it's a pretty short line. It it it's again the same, the same thing where it was like Dovacom speaking to Abram, which is like, have you ever heard of a circuit board, sire? It's just like that segment, that delivery was just because <sighs> Abram is one of those dictators. It's not. Not fully, not really the most smartest bulb in the box, hence why he has an AI. Um, hence why he has an AI. Um, that there's more significance to that um, AI's creation going forward. But basically, he's. Div <laughs> no, wait. Because Do Dovacom line delivered is that I one. I found extra pa the crinkle paper. My other favorite. Um, interaction uh, with them both is is like Dovacom yeah well Ab A oh no I know what it is Ab Abram turns around and he's just like I know I've done my research ask all my friends and <laughs> Dovacom's like friends sire <laughs> it's just like sends him off crazily I'm just like usually sometimes the sassier lines that come from Dovacom are like guiltily enjoyable um they as far as like making serious stuff that's gonna come up in the future i can't talk about that yet but yes there you go okay 46 uh ask will again any future da games charity streams yes there will be um i mean i'm sure there always will be additionally we're thinking of doing like a a da live concert again um, yes, yes, we have with, talked about that. With the idea of perhaps combining that as a charity stream. So, with our official DA Games NFT. Wow. We're not actually doing that. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> a joke. So people don't get confused. I, uh, I know, you, I know, I know think, it's a joke, but I'm saying... Yeah, but do you think that in that tone of voice I just used that people would believe that? What? You'd be surprised. Just be reminding me that it's easy. Um... <laughs> NFT make brain hurty and part angie. Yeah, we don't support it, if that's not clear. I don't know how it's not, but, yeah. I challenge you guys to not use the words like I'm um, an app and make fun Too of bad. the person who... Make fun and of the person I, 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 I forfeit, I forfeit, because I use um way too much. Yeah, we're not we're not making such a such a silly request come true. Technically I don't say um, I say uh. Oh, <laughs> um, oh loophole. Raw different I say consonant. And um and uh at the same time, but it still sounds like um. Uh um, Is mayonnaise an instrument? Oh bad Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish isn't an instrument either. <laughs> is this where we get to do the kicking? No, no SpongeBob, SpongeBob that's, that's our chorus, chorus line. line. Kicking! I want to do some kicking! Why? 
Are you still there, Tia? You know, again, you're loud in the stream. Maybe she's just in a call with people and doesn't want to be around us because we're big Maybe old people. She doesn't babies. like us. Oh, uh, we're <laughs> her best friend. Yeah, else. My snake just yawned. Continue with your day. Nice. Thanks, uh, Tia. Mia says, ask Chris if you were to dye your hair, what color? I wouldn't. <laughs> but in a hypothetical I... situation, if you had a gun held to your head and someone was like, dye your hair. I guess it's getting dyed red, given that circumstance. That's scary. Jesus! Oh, why no. not? <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> God, wow. you're, you're fun at parties. Uh, well, no, it's funny. No. I, I, I don't... I'm one of the very few people in this server that just does not like the idea of putting product in their hair. I make it look good. Right. Even me. I, I, uh, had a phase, um, but then also my hair had a phase where it was like, hey, I'm healthy, and then it went, no, I'm, I'm falling out now, <laughs> so I just thought, no. Yeah, 79. 79? Yeah, no, I'm doing math in my head. Yeah. 40, Everyone! 49. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Everyone appreciate Tia. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Everybody appreciate Tia. Appreciation noise. Yeah. Uh, ask Chris any future video for the channel. Uh, Thomas the Magic Railroad. I almost said Thomas it's the Sailor Man. Wow. Thomas the Sailor Man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nikki, what's wrong with you today? You lose your brain cells. Don't you have any? But yeah, the one brain cell I had today is basically getting put into Animal Crossing and flattening my entire island. Yeah, 78, 77, 78, 79 had two, so that's these two. <coughs> 48, 49. What? Yeah, there, there is one in here. What? Um, <laughs> cause I can't sleep yet. I need to go pick Sophia from the airport. I'm so sorry. I couldn't say anything for a second because my brother was in my room. I just wanted to say that uh. Tia is a good, and everyone should appreciate her and uh, give her a boop and a pop because she's precious. Yes. Order 70 had that. That was also 58. Is there any more ask alls? Uh, right now we have an ask. We have a couple of ask wills, which is uh, ask will favorite voice you can do. Better. Favorite voice they can do? Oh god, there's so many. Um, do the Sans hmm. one, and you can get, knock out two two questions at once. I know. Uh, god, there was a joke that Sans made, and it sounded really good. What did I? Those more nipples than all people. <laughs> is that is that something I said? I yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, no, that's Dex. Dex said that. No! Sam said that. Oh, did Oh, yeah, so he repeated a joke, basically. Okay. <laughs> That's something that Dex can do. Did he I repeats a joke. Um, God, I don't know, yeah, actually. Yeah, 69 had two orders, right? Yeah. I think one of my favorite things was just like, um... What did the skeleton do something? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's not ugly and would like to... <laughs> oh, well, what is that as well? <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton go to the prom? Because <laughs> he had no like, body yeah. to go with. Nah, mate, because it was ugly, fat, and no one liked him. Poor <laughs> 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 skeleton. I do remember that one. Um, Sans is brutal. Like, I suppose Shaggy as well. <laughs> um, I like him. I like doing Hank Hill. Because uh, it's very easy on the throat. I have. Propane. 
<laughs> Dang it, Bobby! I got propane in my urethra. Helps me sleep. Helps me sleep in the car. Oh shit. Um. Wait, how does the, like generally the the softer voices. Sort of like uh, I can't do it right now, but Snake is another one. Um, Zoidberg, uh, Mickey Mouse, Goofy. I like all those. I just love that when I found that clip from The Simpsons where they have a King of the Hill reference when they're flipping through channels and Hank Azaria <laughs> is doing a Hank, a Hank Hill impression. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Hang it, Bobby, I got your propane in my urethra. <laughs> <laughs> and I played that and you were fucking crying laughing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... Ask all favorite movie uh, for me, uh, Fritz Lang's M, nineteen thirty one. M. Yeah, the letter M, Fritz Lang's M. It's, it's M. Yes. Oh. Look it up. It's one of the. It's one of the most critically acclaimed films. You um, see, there's no way I don't watch movies. Yeah. Like the ones with the explosions. Do you seriously not have a favorite movie? No. <laughs> I'm not Scott like, Pilgrim for me. As much as I like movies and I will go to a cinema and I'll watch movies, I barely remember much. I I just like to enjoy the experience. Um, <laughs> whether it's like I guess Sonic, the Sonic movie. Oh yeah. Um, Beavis and Butthead. I liked the Beavis and Butthead. I loved it. Go to South Park, the South Park movie, Team America. Um, is another fun one. Uh, but really, like, Pacific Rim as well. I love Pacific Rim. Because uh, generally I love, like, big uh, mech and kaiju films. So... As you should. I guess, uh... I haven't seen any of the new Godzillas. Um, and yet I've wanted to. Because they look... Oh, no, no, I've seen one. I think it was the... Was it 2016? Uh, if, 2014 was the first of the reboots. Because it was the first one. So 2014. Yeah, I watched that one. but I haven't, uh, And I loved that one. But I, I haven't watched uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Because, um, <laughs> I, yeah, that, I mean, I, I have been very, very interested. There's a lot of people are just... You know, there's just no story in the reviews. Those films oh, are meant you. to be dumb. You know, they're, they're just dumb fighting. You don't watch them for the guys. story. You watch them for the fucking monster fights. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially this day and age, they've got the technology to make it, like, look super fucking cool. So. I'll just say Godzilla vs. Kong has some of the best fights in the entire series. I want to see it. Well, I'll probably. Yeah, will... We, we could do, because I think all of them are on HBO Max, so we could do, like, that's probably the easiest film universe to marathon, because there's only four films. Right. Because oh, there's yeah. Godzilla, there's Godzilla, there's Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then Godzilla vs. Kong. That's it. <laughs> uh, anybody else in your favorite movie? Uh... Sonic Smurfs. I don't. I don't remember. Uh, Pokemon. Smurfs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the Smurfs. Huh. That's I've never smart. heard Hold someone up. say that. What about you, Kirsty? What's your favorite movie? Um. Hmm. Probably. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, th I'm just thinking. Uh. What's one that I go back to a lot? Uh, of animated films, probably, probably, uh, Rotel El Dorado. Mm. I guess Breaker is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, and if we're talking about live action films, um, Cube. There you go. Oh my god, uh, Tia just brought up Disney's Treasure Planet. Fuck! I mm, forgot about that one. I Tia loves that. Treasure Planet. I love that one. She, uh, she loves two particular characters in that movie. Outside of just loving the movie. Well... 
I'll just say this. Uh, you know, you know, Mogans. You know, Mogans yeah. and Klaus. Yeah, yeah, Let, yeah, let's yeah. just say Tia does have a type. She likes them, them big boys. <laughs> she likes, uh, you know, Long John Silver, specifically in Treasure Planet. Yes. He's French. He's French shaped, and she loves him. But French. she loves the. Uh, at least last I recall, she really likes the voice for uh, Mr. Scroop. You know, transparently, that guy. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes. I was gonna say. Um. Hold on. I was gonna say my favorite movie. Um, has to be Scott Pilgrim versus the World. We heard you. It's a good choice. I'm just saying this because not only was the favorite my favorite movie for the longest thing, like the first. I'm sorry, hold on. Not only was that one of my favorite movies I saw <laughs> back when it first came out, but also I, I feel like in a sense over the years that movie has inspired me stylistically because of all the bright flashing colors, all of the um, traditionally animated like effects popping out. Like, just how stylized that film has inspired me in so many ways. There you go. Inspiration. Inspiration. Amazing! I love Scott the Waz versus the Pilgrims. <laughs> Scott the Waz <laughs> <laughs> versus... Uh, okay, so now. here's the deal. What's up? I'm packing the last one. Uh, I want you to notice how there's nothing here. Uh, and this is a palette. This was the second palette that I ordered. Because if you remember, I ordered a hundred foldable boxes. I have one foldable box left that's unfolded. This is 99 boxes. Shit. And this is the last one, and I'm a little bit mad, to be real, because I feel like I missed- because I've been writing numbers on the corners of the boxes, and I feel like I must have wrote a number twice somewhere, uh, because it- to me the map doesn't make up. But luckily, I didn't write printing labels on these yet, so th it's gonna be really easy. It's just... rar, you know? <laughs> I'm an idiot, so. I'm dumb. It, mistakes can happen, you're only human, but luckily we have, you know, the kind of information that can fix that before anything goes out. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna send people the wrong things. Of course not. But, since we're technically on the last box, I think it's time for a celebratory da 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 I mean, yeah, come on, join in, people! <laughs> the final sealed box! Man, shut the hell up. You know what? That was amazing. <laughs> and Nocturne donated $10. You know, I deserve that. Thank you. Go get you I, a snack, Mweep. You sound exhausted. I mean, I have been Aww. packing these for, it says, three hours and 40 minutes. And for people who don't know, I'm not done yet, because now I have to do the next step, which I simply can't do on stream, which is go through every box and make sh do quality assurance and write down the people shipping informations. And I don't want to dox people. So I can get started with the batches, but I'm gonna start in batches. I, I I think I may do batches of 20. I may do batches of 15 because it's so many boxes. It's so many boxes. Like it's literally 99 individual boxes that I just filled, and that's a lot of boxes. Yeah. So it's it's crazy, and I and I. Oh, wait, I mean, you actually I'm, heard that? Yes, I heard I was, you were talking. I was, I actually mumbled that under my breath. I didn't think my microphone picked that up. Honestly, that's some of the most enunciated words you've ever said. Really? Yeah. But yeah, I'm hey. proud that I'm proud to do this. <laughs> this is great practice for when we do the holiday run and I have to pack up 200 of them. 
Uh. <laughs> what? I, I, I pray. <laughs> I mean, I, it'll be fine. I'll just have to dedicate a day to it. But, uh, yeah. So, I did it. Now on to the next yes, step. Uh, which I'm not going to take care of tonight. I have shit to do and a life to live. And I'm tired. But yeah. Key, do you need a hug? Honestly, I need, like, monster and money. You heard her, folks. Give her all your money. Give me your money. All that you got. Give me your money. Give me your money. Or will Ryan will get shot. What? I... <laughs> I Ooh. fucking Igor must have sent an extra tag. I did not do the math wrong because there's 99 boxes, so it would not make. <sighs> the real question is, what do we do with that said extra tag? I don't know. Giveaway? I I don't know, but I have to go through um. I mean, I, ha I was going to go through each order anyway for quality assurance, which is just me opening the box, looking in, being like, yeah, yeah, everything lines up. It's not me folding yeah. the boxes and all the tedium that we've done the past two days. So it wasn't exactly. like this... Th you know, the hard part's out of the way. We do quality assurance for shit like this, because this is one person doing it. You know what I honestly want to get for when we have to do the holiday run? I want to get a fucking More abacus. An no, an abacus. Because so, I need a better way to keep count of my items to, while I'm packing. So if I had like a physical thing that I could just move a little, move a little uh, borble on, it would actually be a lot easier than me writing down numbers. Either that, or I should have wrote them down as tally marks instead of actual numbers, because that started to get me a bit confused. But you know, this is the first time that I've had to pack nearly a hundred things, and I'm impressed with how how efficient I did it because. I was able to do 41. This is technically more orders than than yesterday, and I did it under four hours. Hey, you actually cut your hell yeah. Down. Yeah, watch when I do the I, watch when I do the 200. I'll get I'll be like. <laughs> it, it got. It seemed like it got easier for you once you didn't have to separate them. Yeah, yeah. Like, pretty much like yeah, watch me swoosh right you know, in. You know what would probably be the easier method. Is that I start? I started with putting everything in the black boxes and writing the numbers, and then just going by order number and putting them in boxes. That probably would have been. It's probably more efficient, but it was just because I. I don't know. I wanted to make sure that the people who got the order number got the, the one that would have corresponded with when they ordered, and it would have been the same way, I guess, like that. But I just wanted to make sure, because I care. And you know what? You guys should care. And give me money. <laughs> Tia says, I'm currently holding a squirt gun at Will's head. Send money. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you guys gave super chats to DA Games yesterday. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> She's like, where's my... You guys either donate or I'm going to tell a bad pun. You're going to do that I... anyway. Exactly. I mean, look at but my beefy, be look at my beefy, beefy arm. Your money helps keep these arms beefy. Beef. 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 <laughs> I wish I could. You sound like the kid from. You sound like the boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin who went. Thank you, Lizzie, for explaining my joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, anyone got any more questions before we ride off into the sunset and I gotta start collecting fan art for Derek's friend lock? Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot. I'll give them five Most, more It's minutes. mostly hugs for key. Aw, thank you. I can't give money, but I can give virtual, virtual hugs. I appreciate it. Honestly, what you guys can do if you can't give money mm -hmm. is make sure to uh, share around the charity stream for Saturday. That's all I can ask. Or, you know, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I stream a lot. A subscription you know. also means a subscription <laughs> also means a lot. So, you know, you can do that too. Favorite Ardman animation? Uh, Pirates of Band of Misfits. I don't know what that is. Uh... 
the Rog trousers. Yeah, Ardman is a uh, Wallace and Gromit inky. Oh. I like that. Will we play Use Your Words again? Uh, never say never. Ask How are I'll we doing? See. <laughs> well, I mean, I just got done packing. I just did a podcast and then packed 41 orders of tags, and now I'm having to do mental math. How are you doing? <laughs> I, just, I, I just found an interesting meme. Um, okay. So it says, Disney character names explained. Simba is lion in Swahili. Nemo is no one in Latin. Um... Who's the oh, the monkey from Lion King? I can't remember. Rafiki. Rafiki? Yeah, Ra- Rafiki is friend in Swahili. And Woody is erect penis in English. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> sure Girl says, Ask Will, if there's a chance that one famous YouTuber who will collab with you on doing VA for Bantermation, who would that... I guess who would be your, your um, favorite... If you got to get any guest star you wanted that was a YouTuber to voice something in Bantamation, who would you get? I'm guessing Aaron. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Aaron Hansen. Uh, oh my, my go-to. God. Oh, I'd try and bring back, like, um, fucking Ed Ake, Tomska, or um, Michael Swain. Um, Michael Swain, if you none of you know him, is uh, he's the guy who made Blockhead. Blockhead. Yep. When, uh, What's on he the doing new now? Group. I don't know. I think he's like operating back end of the Newgrounds site now. Fucking bitches. Yeah, I think so. Like you'd have to research, but like, because uh, I think he helped out with a few of the madness things recently. Um, but yeah, he's still floating around somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Joe's TV asks, "Can I give you all a hug? Social distance. Give me a hug. Do it." Okay, well, some of us don't have boundaries. <laughs> I just need a hug. Yeah. Heck social distancing. I need a hug. That's more important. Nobody understands. Nobody understands what this 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 is. Uh, Don't worry, we all do. To our mental state. We do. Trust, we do. I, I say nobody, but then I, I'm talking to the people who understand. Oh yeah, I've already read that. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Oh, I want beef in my games. Where's the beef, ma'am? <laughs> you know, if I was sitting like this on Twitch, I'd probably get banned. Oh, fuck Twitch right now. They would say that I'm an e-thought or Twitch thought because I'm leaning here in my tank top, even though you can't yeah. see any skin. You're not doing a... You're not doing a hot hot tub stream. Get banned. <laughs> get, your na- <laughs> get your name on the board. <laughs> you see, uh, Family Jewels recently started doing streams in, in his hot tub. Doing speed runs of Mario 64. <laughs> see, I, look, people can shit on hot tub streams, but god, that sounds so comfortable. Just sitting in a nice um, jacuzzi while streaming. I'd do that because it just sounds comfy. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? We don't slut shame here. We we appreciate if someone wants to if someone wants to provide the service of being eye candy with their body and people are willing to pay for it. Don't fucking shit on it, man. Look, it's can't I get between, get, can't get between a man and their meal. Support sex workers. That is what Chrissy stands for. Y- yeah. Y'all can't call them whores, because you're obviously looking. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I pay them. Exactly. So, you know, respect the hustle. At least they're not, like, selling illegal firearms. Or yeah. drugs. <laughs> and also be careful, I've gotten swindled on OnlyFans. Well, that's just them being a dick. Whether they're 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 woo man with booba or not is besides the sure. Point. But I still stand by the statement of be careful. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how did you get scammed? Scammed on OnlyFans? I said swindled. <laughs> Same difference. Schmeckledor. No, <laughs> it's not even a word, and I agree with you. 
Are you planning to do more art jams in the future? Yeah, probably bringing them back in the summer. I just had a lot of personal stuff. Uh, trading holding... cards, huh? Yeah, trading cards. I mean, I'm gonna be giving some away on Saturday, so he does have a point. Hell yeah. Ask Decibel Chris. Point. Ask Chris. You like jazz? Yes. You like jazz? You like jazz? I like jazz. I like jazz, yeah. I like jazz yes. Oh, man. Hey, I got an idea. What's your idea? So if there was a DA live concert, the intermissions should be all of us poorly singing DA game songs. <laughs> it's like, and now a war a song from the DA crew. <laughs> the, the, ah! DA, the DA choir. Break, break, break my mind. Until the soul does the Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I'll hunt you down and you will see. Cause I've got another date. Yeah! Freddy! The part would be, I think the shameful part to really, give, to really give it time to die at a service is not us singing it badly. Just play the original. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna leak the Founders Pack 2. I, uh, uh, video, video, video games, 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 video games. Press start together with your video games and play those games with your video games. See, that, that's, yeah. it, that, that's the song. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> the D, the D, Da Capella, Da Capella. Now that just sounds like if Da, that just sounds like if Daco made like a barbershop quartet. I'm the Da Capella. Uh, hashtag keyframe, will the charity stream be on YouTube? Yep. It'll be here on YouTube. I don't know where else it would be. Yeah, I mean, I only do chill streams on Twitch, and that's just for, like, like Stardew Valley and Minecraft and stuff. Uh, stuff that I could do on a whim. But plan things, plan things always happen on YouTube. I am one of the few people who stream almost exclusively on YouTube. YouTube, partner me. Give me your money. Give me, your, Give me money. your fucking money! Give me your fucking money! Give uh, me your money! I'll let, I'll you. let you got. Give me your money! Or fun. Lizzie will get shot! Wait, what? <laughs> See, I'm not that's a target. So I'm having a wonderful time. That song is no. basically a meme of just picking different things to get shot. <laughs> Give me your money, all that you got. Give me your money, or Odie will get shot. Let's <laughs> uh, all this time. Yeah, give me your money, all that you got. Give me your money, or Chrissy will get shot. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like to be out Gun. on this. Thank you. I didn't I'm say you, didn't I? Didn't. I? <laughs> yes, but I would like to stay out of it. Thank I plan not to include you. You know, when you say you want to stay out of it, that really means, let's shoot you. <laughs> I'm kidding. No! Jesus, I don't Jesus want Will! Well, no, it's not, it's not, the, the joke was meant to be, the more you say no, the more we'll say yes. Is this the kind of... Oh, God, Odie. Odie yeah. just replied to my statement saying, finally, sweet release. Odie, Jesus oh. Christ, you're fun at parties. Oh, uh, no. ask a all. Party, sir. <laughs> ask all. Would you guys ever do a cover of Wellerman? Oh, like oh, will the Wellerman get that pirate shanty? Um, so, yeah. 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 Who made the shanty. Okay, yeah. Will Will's uh, part of something involving it? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I would like to. But do. then again, uh, I was part of a fifty-piece cover. Yeah, that's what I'm referring of, to. Uh, Wellerman. Yeah. Is like 50 YouTubers uh, singing Willemann together uh, in a choir, like basically. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that, but that's as far as I'll go. I wouldn't do Willemann live, though. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to head out because Chrissy needs to eat, and Chrissy also has a commitment to collecting fan art for Derek's friend Locke. Which, if you guys want to mm -hmm. watch, go to Salty DK Dan's YouTube channel. That's Salty DK. Like, like Donkey Kong, Dan, and uh, 
yeah, he should be streaming it right now. Who knows? Maybe he caught a new friend. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'll probably stream again this week, and then we got the charity stream on Saturday. So I will just check my Twitter, check everything. Odie, put a link to the Discord. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys all later. See you Bye. later, everybody! Bye. Uh, waiting for the stream to catch up so Odie would put the link to the Discord so I know I can end the stream. Waiting, Whee! waiting, waiting. Yeah. Latency, latency, and... Waiting, <laughs> waiting, 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 wait, Potter, waiting. Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter, do you have Mr. the link? No, I'm, are you waiting? The launch codes are one, <laughs> two, three, four. Mr. DK and Daniel. Mr. DK Daniel, I think you catch the Pokemon. Bless you. <laughs>